All right, let's do an audio check. Let us do. Oh God, it's a loop. It's a loop. I gotta kill it. Almost an audio apocalypse right there. Really should do the media source, shouldn't I? Media source. Music. No capitals. Those capital letters are for losers. How many? Holy crap. I have to turn it all into one file? No, 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 no. That can't be right. That can't be right. All right, hold on. Hold on. Are you sure you wish to remove music? Yes. Yes, I'm sure I wish to remove music. Now, how do I add more than one? I want to add a playlist, obs. Obs. Why are you going to make this hard for me? Well, I guess if I start playing this now, right? Let's not loop it though. Let's not do that. Uh, simultaneous output, no. I suppose I could make a fake audio device. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna do a little bit of technical stuff. Technical stuff, baby. Let's go ahead and do a quick command here. What am I doing? I'm doing... P-A-C-T-L. P-A-C-M-D, baby. Load. Module. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to do null sync. That's right. And then I want. I'm going to need to name this shit, aren't I? Let's read the manual, baby. Let's do 20 lines, 20 additional lines after we find null sync. Wow. Wow. Never mind. Jeez. Hmm. What is your website? Pulse Audio. Literally pulseaudio.org. Documentation. Hmm. 
Here we go. This is the good shit. Six playbacks, zero viewers. How does that even make sense? One like. I haven't even started yet. I'm on seven minutes. I gotta hurry the frick up. Okay. Um. And I'll sink. I know what that is. But what's a loop back? Loop back. Here it is. From a source directly back to a sink. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Let's do it. I just need load module, module null sync. And then I need... A name of something. Name, name, right? Sync name. Common sync arguments. Sync name, sync properties. Sync name equals obs. Well, let's just let's do obs music. Okay. Boom! Did it. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. So now, if I go and I play this. here huh I just have a null output that's all it says well let's see if it works let's try it anyway baby add audio capture Create new music device. No output. Okay. Well, it's not named properly, but it seems to be freaking working. Holy crap, I'm deafening everybody. Holy crap. Okay, we can get rid of the desktop audio on this here. Yes, okay. We can get rid of the desktop audio on both, in fact. All right, and now we're almost ready to do our uh, audio check. Okay, let's see. Let's turn on my, my telephono here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Isaac Stewart. We're gonna grow some hemp. If you're still here, it says zero viewers. Anyway. Next song. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Seems like it might be a little loud, but let's give it a listen. Okay, now we're doing better. Sounds good. I think we're ready to go. Let's see. I sound like crap today, I'm sure, because I've got echo. I've got reverb. That's okay. 
We'll make do with what we can. Let's make sure I'm looping here. Here we go. Music is a loop. And... Open up the, the stream thing so I can see what everybody's saying. Pop out of the chat, because that's a terrible spot for the chat. Looks good to me. And we're live. Man, slow Saturday. Real slow Saturday. I guess this is a good opportunity for me to um, double check the few things in my fortress. I just did a tutorial on farming, so this stuff might be a little messed up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, first go into the correct program and stop pressing my hotkeys in Firefox. Um, make sure that none of this stuff is weird. This gives to this. Yes, okay. Uh, these all give and take. There's no weird stockpile up here. Good. Down here is... I never touched that in the tutorials. Um, this hasn't been changed. Neither has this. That's good. Okay, it looks like my farms are operational. My tavern is, holy crap, way too occupied. Um, everything else... The last thing I was doing besides that tutorial was setting up the archery ranges, but I know those are working. Um, my hospitals are good to go. And... That's it. Oh, I need to make sure I have a clothing industry ready to operate. That's a boy, you're in a craft dwarf. Here we have our farmer's workshop for spinning the thread, which I probably should do in the, um, in the farm. You know, I should probably put the farmer's workshop up there. However, it doesn't really matter because I still have to haul everything down here anyway i might as well haul it and then spin it i think it doesn't matter i don't believe there's any difference in stack size or haulability of hemp plant compared to hemp thread anyway except well no could you put the plant could go in a barrel so that's fine um now then the clothiers workshop is just below we, we have a lot of stuff what is all this crap what is all this crap? This is all worn out garbage. Garbage. But no one has it claimed, apparently. So I guess I can dump it. Yeah, I'm just going to dump all this shit. We'll keep the quiver, I guess. Okay, let's not dump the whole workout. Why is there a child in the clothiers workshop? Someone remove this child, please. All right, what's this? This is hemp rope. I don't want to... Whoa, I already have hemp going? That's right. I did grow a little bit of hemp. But it's far from an industry. We're going to start a freaking hemp fashion industry if I can help it. And what's this? A cave wheat seeds bag. Why are there seeds here? This is completely unacceptable. Yeah, no, seeds should not be here. And bags that contain seeds should be categorized with seeds. Anyway. What's up, uh, Tatiana Samarnia? No, Sam Samarina. I don't know what you said, though. Vasf Tech. Uh, let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's all these? All these? Oh, these are empty bags. Okay, that's good. Well, it's not good that I have this many bags. I shouldn't. Um, but whatever. You know, 
we'll roll with it here. I might make maybe a separate small stockpile um, for just the bags and make that binnable so that uh, bins can be used to store the bags, but not the other goods because, well, I don't want to store the other goods in bags. I want to see how much I have. For example, all of this crap that I have here. I already have hemp going? Well, that's kind of lame. I got hemp socks. How much hemp do I have? Plants. I have a lot of plants. I see I don't have any hemp. Maybe I bought that. See, I know that I've planted some hemp. That's for sure. But I didn't know I made anything out of it, and I might not have. So let's go on up here. Let's see what my farms are set to right now. We've got plump helmets, A, B, C, D, all year round. A, B, C, D, all year round. A, B, C, D, all year round. Barley, hemp. Okay, so I'm growing hemp on this plot for uh, summer. And... And winter. So I do have hemp in production. Maybe I used all of it. This is currently growing nothing except cave wheat two months of the year or two seasons. That's more plump helmets, more plump helmets, more plump helmets. Now, skull in D. Uh, hey, I've got. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Twisted Logic Gaming says Skull. Oh, wow, it's Twisted Logic, too. Oh, crap, this is a little bit dusty. All right, it's dusty, so I'm not going to drink out of this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, spiritually, symbolically drink from the horn here for you. Mmm, delicious horn juice. Skull. <laughs> Uh, Vask Tech. I still don't understand this. Uh, yeah, that does say, yeah, Tatiana and Shirley and. You know what? That's the other thing I'm going to do today. I know it says hemp in the title and we are going to make hemp stuff, but I'm also tacking on horn cups. If I can, are th those are, they have to be a thing you can make. They absolutely must. Get out of here, dust. That's what I get for taking stuff down from the ceiling. Um, let's see. Boneworks. Where's my boneworks at? Here it is. Uh, add new task. Bone. Crafts? No, that's just its own thing. Cancel. Bone. Well, no, bone craft. Oh, that's just... Mm. What is this? Is this some sort of some sort of joke? No. No. Decorate with horn. Make bracelets and amulets. Horn crafts. Horn scepters. You can't make horn cup. You can't make drinking horns. This is literally unplayable. How, how, all right. Well, whew, starting off with a disappointment here today. Can't make drinking horns, but we're gonna keep, we're gonna, we're gonna push on through it here. Let's not get it, let's not let it get us down. Uh, anyway, uh, so I wanna do two things right off the bat. We have some hemp growing, but it's not a lot two seasons of hemp and I don't want to interrupt my barley growing because I am milling that and I've got so many bags I need to seriously mill some barley um, so I'm going to turn this into above ground crops like I always intended to do and um, from there I will grow more hemp and I'm also going to get dimple cups dimple cups in production because I want fancy hemp stuff there's some other stuff we can use for dyes too, and I'm gonna look that up because I don't have any seeds for dimple cups right now. I have to trade seeds regardless or acquire them somehow. 
and as a result, I might as well explore my other die options. So let's do that. Let's uh, first let's start with a simple plan to turn this into an above ground plot. Right above it, we have a freaking river. So that's going to be it's going to be really hard to do, like really hard. What month is it? What season? It doesn't matter. I think this is a hot biome. I don't think it ever freezes here. I can't remember, but I think it's pretty warm. And it's late spring anyway. So we're not going to get that to thaw. Oh boy. I might be stuck doing just cave wheat for now. Yep. I'm going to supplement with cave wheat and turn off my barley production. So all year round hemp plants for this plot here. And then... Over here, I want to turn on, cave wheat is already on, good. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn these into cave wheat as well. We have plenty of plump helmets, I'm sure. Cave wheat only grows two seasons out of the year. Uh, summer and autumn, right? Summer, autumn, yes. So this is gonna put a bit of a pause in my milling industry, which is already paused, but the things you do for hemp. Yeah, we actually must demand that. And I, I'm considering, I'm going to send him or send to the forum or whatever, wherever he's most likely to find it. I'm definitely going to suggest that. We'll spam it in the, uh, you know, in uh, Blind's next interview with him. We'll just We'll just all weigh down that whole system with requests for horns, drinking horns. No, don't do that. Unless you really want it. Unless you really want drinking horns, then ask Tarn when. Drinking horns when. So, cave weeds go. This is hemp all year round. Good. Let's check out what kind of dyes we have. Now, I don't know what's a dye and what's not a dye. So let's go find that out right now. Let's uh, look up the dyes here. So we got dimple cups for midnight blue. Blade weed makes green. Uh, hide root is red. And silver barb makes black. Now I'm not sure. I think hide root would be present anywhere, right? Grow time, plant value, uh, above ground crop. Actual, is it above ground? Yes, we know it's an above ground crop. Oh, here we go. Any land except mountain glacier or tundra. It grows in dry. Seems like there'd be more limitations than that for dry. But whatever. Um, it is not in a good or evil or, or chaotic, etc. So we could probably find hide root. Blade weed is dry again. Wait, did I read blade weed? Is this, they're literally the same. Okay. They're exactly the same. Hide reed is also cookable. They're the exact same thing. What about the value? Uh, mill value, 20. I don't want to make... Well, mill value would be the dye. Yeah, so 20. Grow time is 300. So blade weed's more valuable. And then what's the last thing? Silver barb. Silver barb, which creates... Was it black dye, I believe? Oh, it needs to be found in evil biomes. So I'm not going to find any of that. Well, it's a silver dye, but I guess it's a black color. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's not going to grow here. Although, if I can get my hands on some in trade. Oh, no. It says right here, your trading partners won't have seeds for it. We'll need to brave the evil weather and pull it from the earth themselves. I don't know. I got goblins that, you know, enter my fort. Maybe some of them have, uh, you know, have a pocket full of silver barb, silver barb seeds. 
Um, a high value die. It doesn't matter. Why am I still reading about this? It looks like what I want to find is um, blade weed, and hide root will be my my second pick there. Oops, wrong screen. So let's see what we can find here. Blade weed is a, is it a blue weed or that? This is longland grass, of course. Um, the yellow reed-looking plants, or grass-looking plants. Um, blue is the good biome one, not longland grass. Green is rope reeds. So what the heck does blade weed look like? I have no idea. Is it a grass? Those are just saplings. What's this? Cranberry vines. I don't want cranberries. I want blade weed, baby. Looks like I might just be trading. Yeah. Yep. I think so. And I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if blade weed used the same sprite as longland grass. That. Uh, that is not a known. That is an unknown. So I don't see anything out here that looks like it. This is definitely a king snake and not any kind of plant. I see some bones of my enemies, some nice decorations. There's the hide root. Um, I'm thinking it might be one of these plants. There's hemp plants right there. but I'm pretty sure it was a grass-like sprite. So we've got hemp plants up here, which is worth checking how many seeds I have. I might be able to supplement those seeds with a quick plant gather. However, um, I'm not sure I need them. That would be a waste of time otherwise. There's rye. Ooh, there's rye. I can make some rye bread. Not that you can actually make bread in this game. Uh, onion plants. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say we don't have blade weed here. Just because I'm not finding any. Everything's colored differently because it's been covered in plum leaves. And hide root was the red dye, right? Yes. So I can make hide root and dimple cups. That's red and blue. I rather prefer blue, but we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll gather up some of this anyway. Oh, thank you, Twisted Logic. I didn't even think of that. Last time I, I looked at anything advertising a live stream in the subreddit, it was like, make sure you, you know, mention when you'll stop and, and put like the schedule in there. And I was like, this is zero notice. I don't know how to do this without angering the mods. All right, so how many of these are hide root? So this is a hide root. This is a hide root. And it was the muddy one, right? Yes, the muddy one's a hide root. Well, it's not muddy, it's covered in plum leaves. I just need a few, come on, just a few. Oh, they have a little spud. Oh, that's cool. So that, that could be used to tell them apart. Oh, but it doesn't show up if they're covered in something. Okay, so this one, I got, I got three here. So plants, gather this. Oops, I uh, did the wrong thing here. Wrong hotkeys. All right, so gather that plant there. That's a hide root. Gather that one here. Gather this one there. Let's look for just a couple more here. I could literally just um, put, use the cursor to gather everything in this area, but boy, do I hate cluttering my fortress. Truly, truly hate it. 
I never checked to see if there's like a maturity factor for hide roots. All right, well, maybe I'll look. Well, this is probably hide root here. Yep, hide root and hide root. Okay, so. There we go. I think that's enough. Just five, you know. That's okay, though. We'll get seeds back from it. Um, so I only have one above ground farm plot. That's disappointing. We're also going to need to change this to hide root for a several seasons once I've got these picked, which means I need a stockpile. Well, this is all outdoor plants, basically. I'm going to have to enable barrels. I'm going to have to do it. Uh, Maximum barrel, let's do two here. Can I not? There we go. Press the right key. I cannot. Um, so my main, my farmer stockpile for the crop seeds, above ground crop seeds, can now have two barrels in it. You know what, let's just go with four barrels. And in the settings, we're gonna add hide root seeds. Where are you, hide root seeds? Um, there they are at the bottom, of course. And here, we still want no barrels in the feeder stockpile, of course. But we're going to go on down to hide root seeds. Perfect. So that should begin now. The only other thing we have to do is add hide root to here. I'm glad I have all these extra bags now because I'm going to need them. Because to make a dye, you need to mill. I'm pretty sure all dyes are made by milling. Guys, I think we have enough hemp socks. Guys? Guys, how many of these are hemp socks? Oh, this is my armor. This is my bone works. Um, one, two hemp socks. Okay, well, as long as there's only two, I know you're not screwing up. Uh, let's check real quick to make sure they're not screwing up. Make cloth sock validated uh, I don't think so buddy okay not satisfied good clothing I've found to be problematic with how well the dwarves follow the instructions that the manager has given them look at that tavern holy crap anyway as I was saying um, all dyes are milled right Yes. Good. And if we go to the mill, I can double check. I've never actually really dyed anything like regularly. So uh, if we go to the mill, we can make sure there's not a separate task for making dyes, which there may be. It may be one of those. Um, Dyes are stockpiled as food slash milled plants along with flowers. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to change something real quick. Uh, dyes are listed under powder. Okay. Okay, as a workaround, okay. Um, Basic color that is the nearest match. Stimple dye is dark blue and emerald. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So it looks like it's just the regular milling process. Um, just one last double check on that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so grind up certain plants to make sugar, flour, dye, and slurry. Interesting. Whoops, I don't want that. I want to 
make sure I'm not missing any instances. There's seven instances of the word die here. Here we go. Ensuring the exclusive milling of certain plants is quite cumbersome. Um, I, okay, so it appears that it's just going to be the regular. So let's go back. Mill plants is already active. And that plant order condition is if I have 10 millable plants and 10 bags. Then I definitely have 10 millable plants and 10 bags. And then here, I need to go to food milled plants and I want no that's not that's incorrect that's incorrect I already have that set up that's where the plants go not the milled plant so here in my kitchen stockpile something I didn't know before but you learn everything or you learn something every day in this game is that milled plants I don't want my dye at my kitchen that's stupid and thus it is undone. Instead, I want my dye to be down here by my clothier's workshop, which will be complemented by a dyeing workshop, which will go here. Whoops. Okay. Look at that. What's up, uh, Alifor72? Justin Butler says, same here. I've also never typically created a dying city. The only thing that typically dies in my forts are the military dwarves. Nice. Yeah, uh, that, is, that is often the case. Well, actually, in my fortresses, usually the regular dwarves die at the same time as the military dwarves. <laughs> Most of the time I trade for the green dye from the humans. I never made it. Yeah, I've never made it. You know, dyeing seems, dyeing seems like a lot, a whole industry for just a supplement to your fortress's worth. Like you're setting up a whole industry and all you're getting is just like a, a value bonus on one kind of item. So that's, I guess that's why I've never done it. All right, guys, stop making these socks, seriously. See, this is what I'm talking about. Make sock. See, not satisfied for next check. How many socks do we have? We shouldn't have more than three at any point in time. Um, right now, we currently have, it's gonna, actually gonna be under armor, right? Oh, crap, look at all this. Look at all these coats. I have so many coats. So many cloaks, robes, tunics. Oh, it's not going to be under s armor. It's got to be under armor, right? Am I wrong about this? Because I'm pretty sure there's not a clothing. Yeah, there's not a... Cl oh, is there footwear? There is footwear, look at that. Okay, so it's probably in here. Socks, okay, we currently have forbidden 24 sheep wool socks and 54 llama wool socks and 64 cave spider silk socks. Right, we have an unforbidden pile of 44 alpaca wool socks. We have 133 pigtail socks where the hell is all of this? These aren't even mine. What? Where is it? Are people just, are the guests just dumping their freaking clothes in my tavern and getting and taking mine? What's happening here? Oh, it's on you. It's, why is it in my stocks? Well, it's impossible to know. Fun fact, I guess. It's impossible to know how many socks I actually have. I, assuming that my stockpiles are set up properly, we can say that I have, not that one, 
not that. Zero available socks. Assuming my sock files are set up properly. All right, thank you miners. Now let's smooth it out. An army of smoothers shall wreak havoc, wreak organized, delicate havoc on this room. Okay. Man, I really wish you could engrave constructed walls so I could get rid of these weird color discrepancies. Okay, so there's that room. We should have doors always available for only one door. What? Where's my door order here? Uh, hello, doors. Are we uh, just not making those anymore? Charcoal or bin, plants, coffin, splint, crutch. It should be up here by coffin. I guess not. Maybe I moved my uh, my masonry workshop or something, and now I'm not making doors. Let's add an order for doors. Make two doors. Make them out of schist. Um, right, that is what I'm making the doors out of, I'm pretty sure. Yes, make it out of schist. And... Make that every single day, check to make sure we have at least or not more than at most, okay, at most uh, four doors. You know, let's just make less than four doors. There, if it goes less than four, make two doors, less than three. Okay, we, we've got most of our doors are set up right now. We've got, in fact, in fact, if there is less than two doors, make two doors. Because I really don't plan on doing any door-heavy construction anymore. Um, there, that's it. Oh, and um, I guess one more. Make sure that the amount of schist available is at least two. Okay. Okay. What the hell's going on in here? Splints and pipe sections. There's so many splints. Oh boy. All right, so we gotta give our dwarves some time to grow that stuff here. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do a quick edit here on my splint quantities. I have five, 10 beds. Is this one set to 10? Okay, so let's set this one to 10 as well. Um, there we go. Let's get some of those splints cleared out of there. Let's give our dwarf some time now to grow our hemp. Okay, you're still making socks. Why are you still making socks? And more importantly, where are you putting those socks? Uh, this this is the clothiers workshop. Who's got the socks? Okay, so the socks aren't in there, which means one of you has a sock. And I need to know who. Inventory? Steel mini forge being hauled. You're in the military, I see. Um, Hemp sock. Oh, people are just taking them. Good. That's absolutely what I want. Okay, good. Everyone's starting to wear hemp socks. Perfect. We've already got the industry going. Look at this. It's, it's, it's magical. Magical. Now make more socks, damn it. I didn't say you could stop.
Yes, Justin Butler with the future site. You were right. They were indeed placing them on their feet. I was surprised at the the speed. The dwarves just instantly claimed the socks before they even made it to the stockpile. That's what I was I was expecting to see them on the floor first, and then the dwarves would come get them. But no, they love their socks so much, they couldn't wait. Yeah, 690. I was actually thinking about doing a 69 subscriber special, which is hilarious because that would have been a special done three days into opening this channel. Uh, oh, I can build my door now. Look at that. Look, three doors. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was going to do a 69 subscriber special and just be like, hey, uh, I don't even have a channel really yet, but 69 subscribers. Ha ha. And then I don't know what I would have done. Some kind of video or something. Dude, there's so many bags. Look at all these bags. Where are they coming from? I bet you, do I have food to be milled? Is that what's happening? No, no, my cook is using milled stuff. If I take a look at this barrel, um, that's a horse milk barrel. That's a rendered fat barrel, a fish barrel, hen egg pot, large zinc pot, llama milk pot. Whoa, I guess we're not cooking with those things. Where are these bags coming from, man? Oh, check it out. Check it out. Um, barley seeds. Oh, that's barley. That's not hemp. Okay, don't celebrate yet, everybody. I know everybody had their beers in the in their hands ready to go, but it's just barley. False alarm. Now, are those zinc pots that I'm making? Because I rather like the plain gray of the pots. Yes. So note to self, zinc pots, cool. Zinc barrels, hideous. I guess maybe if my fortress was themed with microcline, I wouldn't mind the zinc barrels, but, um, but that blue is just gross. The dimple cup, the dimple dye blue is, is a little more pleasant. It's kind of, it's right here. It's, it's kind of like a ocean blue, not a sky blue, if you know what I mean. We've got our hens operating just fine here. We take a look at this next box and we see we have guinea hen eggs coming up. I'm eventually going to replace those chickens with guinea hens because, um, I don't know, they're cool. It's not chickens, I guess. Now I wonder, I wonder if I can find dimpled cups down here. Check, there's pigtails. Yeah, there's dimple cups. So theoretically, I could grow dimple cups. I already have probably plenty down here. I could break through one of these walls. Some of these are constructed. One of these is constructed. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get some dimple cups going right now. That hide root idea was cool, but it's going to interfere with the hemp growing. What's happening? Why have you moved my game? A human caravan has arrived. Cool. Where are they now? There they are now. All right, let's observe as they make their way down to my fort. I should have a lever to disengage all of these above ground bridges, the one that they're walking over right now, as well as one more. I guess technically they're driving over it. They're driving a wagon. Yes, make your way down. Into the fort. This is a dangerous bridge for caravans, by the way. That, I mean, that's a major accident if one of them happens to find itself over the edge. 
which has happened before in a previous um, uh, tutorial, or not tutorial, fortress of mine, which I believe was my tutorial fortress, but that was a long time ago. That was like video one and two tutorials. All right, so let's get the broker over here. Um, and let's do one very important thing. We're going to zinc barrel. Okay, all of these things, everything in a zinc barrel gets traded because I don't like zinc barrels. They're ugly. So we're giving them away, basically. Uh, fish. Fish barrel, zinc. Okay, let's just go to barrels here because everything that's in a barrel will also be listed under barrels. And we're just going to do paired food, paired food, horse milk. Sure, why, why do I have horse milk? Care to explain that to me, farmer? Where are you getting horse milk from? Pretty sure I slaughtered my horses years ago. Anyway, uh, plant barrel. We're going to double check what's in these exactly before I sell all of them. Uh, but for now, we will uh, we'll haul them up here so we can see what's in them. Oh, and, and something I've been meaning to check, which is totally unrelated to this video, is whether or not anyone is the master of the magpie. No, nobody is. And what's with all of this? Oh, well, that's a, uh, we're not going to worry about our cancellation spam. That's a, for a different day. For now, we're growing a hemp industry, baby. Ah, tastes like Chicago. Chicago. Yes, bring the barrels. Where are you going? Wait, what? Sir, where did you bring that barrel? Okay, I thought I saw someone walk out with a barrel. Anyway, it looks like all the barrels have been hauled. Let's, uh, where is my broker? Broker? Who is my broker? Irvod, broker. Becoming the capital? No thanks. Um, although I do have the mightiest fortress in all of this young, young land. It's only like year 11 in this world. Uh, let's see. Um. <laughs> the jugs? No, we can't use jugs for anything. Um, except for beekeep. Well, there's other things to put in jugs, but I don't even know what they are, to be honest. What else do you put in a jug besides honey and royal jelly? Is it dye? Does dye go in a jug? That would be very important to know for this industry if that's the case. I thought it goes in barrels or bags, which go in barrels. Really? Thanks for the heads up there. Uh, I do. Oh, you see what I did here? I screwed up the music for a second video. I forgot to make an edit to this scene on OBS. So I will do that now. Media source, use existing. No, create new. Oh, no, 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 can't. no, no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm doing an audio capture and I'm using an existing and I'm doing music. And that is already properly leveled. Look at that. Let's, uh, why don't we, why don't we start it over, you know, since, since we've got, um, there we go. Since we screwed it up, might as well go back to the beginning. Enjoy this actually quite wonderful music, uh, from the album Sigil in Stone by Supera Concilio. Not quite sure Supera Concilio. 
if, if that last name were Espanol, I would expect it to start with a C. So I'm curious if that's like an Italian name or something. Anyway, they're on Bandcamp. Great music, great for uh, uh, putting in the background of Dwarf Fortress. And they were kind enough to even say aloud that they would like content creators to use their music. So here I am, really quite enjoying it. Uh, okay, so here, we've broken into this. Now let's, what, what are these other plants? Should we just harvest all of this? Those are tower caps. Those aren't going to grow into anything, though. It's only one block high. Yeah, the rest of this is pigtails and quarry bushes. So let's designate gather plants. And let's just gather all of it. I guess you can't... Oh, well, the quarry bushes likely have to mature. What happened? The beekeeper coddle osmela... Coddle osmelacus. And the dyer Ast Abakvuthar have married. Congratulations. Well, I don't know if they have a bedroom right now. No one has a bedroom right now, right? Are there bedrooms in this awful fortress? No. There are not. In fact, whoa, did I never make any... Did I, I don't have a dormitory in my tutorial fortress? This is a horrible revelation. Oh, yeah. Yep, they could, you know. Come on, Tarn, where are the jug bongs? Think about it. That's quintessential to a game such as this. So, where's my broker? Oh, God, what's happening now? Oh, I'm, I'm not in the right window. Migrants, okay, that's expected. They happen every time I'm trying to do something else. So uh, nothing to see there. Uh, where is my broker? This is what I'm, I need to know right now. Manager, okay. All the engravers, cool. Beekeeper, brewer, bookkeeper, architect, bone doctor. It's an awesome name. Broker, you're listening to a story quite fervently. Fantastic. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to have you stop doing that, please. Irvad Thabkakiz. Uh, or rather, you're fired. Because you have one job, and it happens only once a season. And you're too busy listening to a story right now to do it. So how about we replace you, right, broker, with... Damn. Dude, the mayor's got skills. Um, a pump operator? You're not a very good appraiser. You got all the other skills, but not the appraisal. No one else, no one has appraiser. Well, too bad. It looks like our mayor is taking over for him. You're the broker too now, bro. Congratulations. Olan Kivish Akam. <laughs> Kivish Akmam. Uh, and now that you are the broker, let's make sure I got eyes on you. That you're not. Okay, you're just eating. Good. Finish eating and trade. No, now you're praying to Almush Glittermost? This is not your job. Oh crap, why are cats giving birth? I thought I spayed all the, or neutered all the cats. No, 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 that's not okay. Oh, they probably were already preg pregante. Yeah, it was a named cat. I know that. Named cat. That just gave... Well, the cat that gave birth won't be listed here as neutered because that would not make any sense, but... 
Let's just make sure. Yeah, all of the cats have been neutered. So I don't have a cat apocalypse on my hands, right? Yeah, there's more cats. Well, we've got now we've got kittens. We've got a geld. Let's make sure we do that. Um, quick check. Quick check. Kittens. Kittens. Yeah. So it was just a cat that was already pregnant. Little uh, diversion there. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll probably keep the cats. I'll probably keep the cats I there I have a lot of cats now but I use eight cats minimum I keep eight cats around no matter what because that's about what it takes to guard all of the places with edible uh, stockpiles vermin edible stockpiles all right so now my mayor is sleeping in his quite lavish office if I do say so myself why is the is the river dammed why why do I have the river dammed Maybe to collect this stuff. What is all this stuff? Oh, that's my garbage. That's where I throw all my garbage, in the river. I guess I'll keep the river dammed for now uh, because I'll build some stuff down there that's totally uh, useless stuff. That makes no difference, but I like it. Anyway, back to the mayor. We're trying to trade here. I, I want to get dyes and stuff to dye my hem. But my mayor is being less than cooperative. Let's see what he does when he gets up. That's hilarious. It's amazing because you can see the graphics of the spit. To have a game where you can you can call the presence of spit an amazing graphical feature is pretty awesome. Why you're a soldier now? Why are you in the military? But you're not doing anything? Oh my god, who elected a military member to be the mayor? Olan Kivishakmam. Kivish what squad are you in? You're in the boners? You can't be the mayor. You're in a suicide squad. You're gonna die. <laughs> like, do, well, who do you think the boners are, dude? Come on. Well, someone else is now the frickin' broker. Okay. It can't be the mayor either. Do I have... Trader is requested at the depot. Okay, so it is set. So I'm not crazy here. I'm not going insane. Um, broker, replace again with the pump operator. What could you possibly be doing? Cotton and Doc Thok. Um, Cotton and Doc Thok. Where are you? You're a pump operator, so you're going to be in red. You're socializing? Ugh. Is anyone in this fort useful? Who gets to be the broker today? How about Dastat Kalreth Bukhar, the engraver? Dastat Kalreth Bukhar. You, what are you doing? Dastat. Where are you? Oh, you're now... Oh, why are you also socializing? How about this? Where's someone with no job right now? Tiris. Tiris Zaludnish. Tiris Zaludnish. You are now the broker. You're not doing anything. And if I find you socializing after I assign you as broker, I'm going to be very upset. Tiris Zaludnish. There he is. Boom. You're done. Dude, 
Do it. Broke it. I could, but I would rather make a squad called the Stoners that uses some kind of stone equipment. Um, okay. The giant Seshed Thur has come. A gigantic creature resembling a human, almost unparalleled in size. We'll see about that. The boners. We'll see about that. So uh, the boners are, uh, they wear bone armor and leather armor decorated with bone, and they wield bone crossbows and shoot bone bolts. That's why they're the boners. If I were to call them the stoners, they would uh, make slightly less sense. So we will possibly make a military squad that uses nothing like a stone piece of equipment. I'm not sure what you can make out of stone, but there's got to be something. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press enter. We're going to be pause. Didn't expect to do some military action this stream, but here we go. Enough with the hippie stuff. It's time to get things done. First, let's view him because he seems cool. A gigantic creature resembling a human almost unparalleled in size. His hair is extremely long. He is tall, weak, and skinny. He has very high cheek. I feel like we could just push him over. Can we do that? Can we just push him over? His large, irised, narrow, ash gray eyes are bulging. High cheekbones, bulging eyes, and he's weak and skinny. This dude's a fucking creeper, okay? This is not... You see this guy in a parking lot, you run. He is, he is a serial killer. His nose bridge is convex. His eyebrows are short. His hair is burnt sienna. His skin is copper. His nose is somewhat broad. Yeah, this guy's a fucking creeper. This is like Buffalo Bill comes to town. Uh, okay, so we've got to deal with this guy, right? What do we have for military squads? We have our first and second garrison. Uh, they're both off duty right now. The, I really should have made them not on duty at the same time too. Anyway, uh, and we have the boners. Now the boners, except for apparently Soxol and Olan, who's the mayor, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, and Rith, uh, are Mark's dwarves. Uh, they all wear really shitty armor. So we're going to send them in anyway, because that's what they're for. Uh... And we'll send in both garrisons as well, although I don't think we need them both. Um, actually, do I have metal armor on any of these people? Let's see. First garrison. You're supposed to be wearing steel with wooden bucklers. Well, you have something on, right? Like... I don't know what material those are made out of, but everyone here seems to have steel armor equipped. So the first garrison is ready to go. The second garrison is ready to go as well. Again, steel armor, though they're not equipped well otherwise. They're also elite wrestlers because I haven't really given them weapons yet. Uh, this fortress isn't actually prepared for military action, by the way. This is going to be an adventure. Uh... Obsidian swords. Uh, yeah, you know, there should be. You know, honestly, uh, Twisted Logic. I, if I were to mod this game in any way, I don't have the know-how to do it, but if I were to, 100% my pick would be the language in the game. It needs to be overhauled. The way things are described, the fact that that sentences never reference back on themselves. They always repeat the subject over and over again. And the way that things are just uh, written out unnaturally uh, really needs an overhaul. It would be nice to have it say something like, it's the size of 30 dwarves. The, like the height, you know, the height of five dwarves and the weight of a hundred or something. Uh, all right, so anyway, it looks like the first garrison is going to fare better than the second. And I care about the garrisons, so we're going to only send in the first. We'll send in the boners as well. Because, of course, we're sending in the boners. 
Um, so now what we need to do is go down here and we need to go to, we have shelter set up. So now we go to our civilians uh, and we do shelter for the civilians. All of the, all of my squads are active, that's good. So the civilians are in shelter mode. My squads will attempt to beat the giant to this location. Uh, so first garrison enters the fray. Wait, move, there we go. And the boners, you're gonna wanna be back here. I think that we're gonna get there in time. I think. Then, we come back down here. And we wait for everyone to get inside. And we're gonna keep an eye on, uh, let's actually just watch this guy. And once he starts to get too close, then I'll, oh shit, he can, <laughs> that's right, I drained the river. I might have to undrain the river. He'll probably be able to survive anyway. Oh crap, could he climb that? Is there a grate here? Oh no, I put the, there's no grates here because there's walls here. Oh, I didn't build that wall back. Technically there's an entrance to my base, this is bad. Anyway, um, all right, so he's walking up that way. He's attacking my cat. What a dick. Everyone should be inside by now. Anyone who's not is an unfortunate sacrifice. Uh, unnamed lever. That's, oh no, it's named. It's named entrance lever. Here we go. Someone pulls the lever. And this poor blue pea chick, or stray key, is gonna get fucking wrecked. Yep, there it goes. What, how did you, did I just fucking launch you up here? Yeah, stray baby alpaca. Oh, buddy. Oh, and you are. There's a wall above that too. Okay, so that peach chick probably just got uh, disintegrated. Uh, we haven't been making bone bolts in a while. What I want to know is... The pea chick, or the stray keep, the stray keep, what happened to it? <laughs> and anyway, all right, so the llama got fucked up, but the, oh, there it is. You'll be okay, probably not. Now then, back to the action. Uh, we've, we've closed off here. Our, where is this bastard? All right, so he's coming up here. That's good. Okay, so he's coming up. This is it. This is our plateau right here. He's coming up from the southeast. Uh, squads, assemble. Um, boners. Despite being a suicide squad, I'm going to have you fall back a little bit. But you're going to move in here. Um, and then first garrison, I want you to move forward a little bit more. There he is. He's right down here. Let's uh, let's follow him and see what happens. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Yeah, that's right. Come on up here. Come on, boners. Come on. You can do it. Is he already dead? Wow. 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 Wait, no. He's, that's a roach. Where is he? 
I got one dwarf that's gonna drown thanks to being a freaking idiot. Go there, please. Where is he? Tree frog remains? What did you just... Ex oh, here he's underneath this dwarf. Okay, so we did it. Um, that was uh, really stupidly easy. And now they're just sparring, I guess. Um, right, is it, does it not tell me? Why is a forgotten beast fighting? That should not, this should not be happening. Anyway, um, today is the fifth of Malachite. So these are, so there's no log for him. Oh, here we go, giant, I'm, I'm just blind. Here we go, view the report. Hey, no problem, Stuma L2208. Uh, I try to make them as micro as possible. Hopefully they're short enough. I feel like they should be three minutes, you know? Okay, so first thing, this giant did as he enters my lands unwelcomed is punch a stray kitten right dead center just punch that kitten right in the lower body um grabs the stray kitten uh yes 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 of course uh plays with the stray kitten for a little bit just just puts it down attacks it continuously missing the chicken or the chicken did i say chicken i meant kitten um the giant charges at the stray kitten charging at the kitten this is an epic battle we need like uh like matrix battle music for this charges at the stray kitten the giant collides with the stray kitten the stray kitten is knocked over this giant is unparalleled in size unparalleled and it's charging at kittens and knocking them over. The giant punches a stray kitten, blah, blah, blah. Continues to punch the kitten. This is the most epic kitten versus giant fight I've ever seen. Um, and the stray kitten is finally dead after a scratch to the front paw. And severing, severing the paw of the, the kitten. Anyway, the dwarves show up on the plateau, the final destination for this giant, our plateau. Uh, the giant attacks first, but misses the spear dwarf. So one of my spear dwarves returns with a punch to the giant in the left lower arm, um, bruising it. The force bends the left elbow. So that's a fucking epic punch. Um, the giant attacks the spear dwarf, but she jumps away giant misses the wrestler the wrestler stabs the giant the, okay so the spear dwarf punched the giant right and then the wrestler stabbed the giant with a spear uh interesting uh tactics by the second garrison first garrison uh, okay so then uh chipping the bone uh a ligament has been torn so tearing ligaments and chipping bones and more ligaments are torn especially bad in the ankles so this is an achilles heel situation this this wrestler not the spear dwarf the wrestler shows up with a spear and just straights up go goes freaking uh uh god what's who's the actor in troy goes fucking whatever against brad pitt on this guy and just ankles him just straight to the Achilles heel. The giant falls over. The spear dwarf attacks the giant, but he rolls away. Okay, so not down, but not out, right? Uh, now a, a recruit stabs a giant in the upper body with a spear, tearing through muscle and the liver. The giant attacks, but she jumps away. Attacks the spear dwarf again, ignoring the recruit that's currently... Uh, impaling his liver. The recruit stabs the giant in the right hand with a steel spear, apparently attempting to get his attention some more. 
uh, but the spear gets stuck in his hand. So then the spear dwarf stabs the giant in the lower body with her steel spear, tearing the muscle and the spine and a tendon in the spine. So this this is some attack on Titan shit right now. That thing's still alive, right? But it's not it's not gonna be for much longer. Keshed Thur, the giant, exclaims, Our time in the eternal domain is so brief. I must not succumb to fear. Very deep. In fact, very like intro to an anime plot twist. The eternal domain. And then the dwarves spend the next five episodes figuring out what that means. And then it turns out the reality is actually not what they ever thought it was. Anyway. Um, so the recruit regains possession of their steel spear. The wrestler spear-wielding wrestler, then stabs the giant again in the upper body, tearing through the muscle, chipping the ribs. A tendon in the left false rib has been torn. The spear dwarf stabs the giant in the right hand with her steel spear, chipping the bone. A ligament has been torn and a tendon has been torn. The steel spear has lodged firmly in the wound. Another spear is stuck in a hand. Um, the force bends the right wrist. The giant punches the spear dwarf in the upper body with his left hand, bruising the muscle and bruising the left lung through the cave spider silk cloak. The really shitty cave spider silk cloak. That's not good. Took a punch from a giant. Um, the recruit stabs the giant in the head with his steel spear, tearing the muscle, chipping the skull, and tearing the brain. A tendon in the skull has been torn. The giant has been knocked unconscious and the steel spear is lodged firmly in its head. And that's it. So the dwarves fucking went 100%. They went so hard on this giant. The giant shows up. One spear dwarf says, I'm gonna punch this son of a bitch. I'm just gonna punch him, right? Whatever. Just to, I don't know, just to like... Just to, you know, prove my dominance. I'm just going to punch this dwarf. The wrestler says, get out of my way. Shows up, stabs the thing in the fucking ankle. It goes down. It's rolling around trying to dodge spears left and right. They're pinning its fucking hands to the ground with spears. It's probably crying and wailing. It talks about some eternal domain shit that none of the dwarves know about because their feeble dwarven minds couldn't possibly comprehend that level of reality. Then, finally, they stab it in the chest twice, tear its spine, probably paralyzing it before one of them decides it's over and stabs the thing in the fucking brain. And that's exactly how this battle went. And, uh, and that giant just got fucking wrecked by poorly equipped dwarves. Anyway, uh, back to making hemp, uh, <laughs> right? Um, let's do alerts, inactive, um, we'll do squads, delete moves, or delete orders, delete orders, and then we'll go here and we'll raise the bridge, and that's the end of our military action. All right, the bridge should be lowered. It is, and we're done. The military comes marching home. The battle is won. They're harvesting dimple cups. So peaceful now. What the fuck are all you guys doing out there? Oh, you're gonna take that thing in and we're gonna fucking, we're gonna dissect it. No, it's not a forgotten beast. We're just gonna, I don't know. I suppose we could throw it off a cliff. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's dump it into the river and cause it to explode into gore, and then we can use its bones to decorate our helmets. Now that's an idea if I've ever heard one. Let's do it. Um, first, I need to forbid our corpsey friend here. Uh, dead or missing. Um, but I actually need to go to the stocks screen. I need to go to corpses, right? Yes, corpses. 
and I need to go to this mode. Keshed Thur's corpse. Okay. Good. So it's there's nothing happening to it right now. Right? Zoom to it. Right. It's just there. So then I'm going to make this a pit. Uh, where where do I want to throw it off from? Let's do right here. And this is going to be a pit or pond, and it's going to be a pit for not all of my live honeybees. <laughs> what? No, it's going to be pit for... Oh, you can't throw corpses down it, but I could dump the body if I make it a dump. Okay, so no pit. But it needs to be on the edge for a, a garbage dump. Um, I don't know if it will explode into gore now that I think about it. If the creature's not living, will it... Um, I, I do need to fix that hole in the wall. Uh, I will. I will. I'm not going to unpause till I get that sorted out. The thing is, I was looking at that just a second ago. I didn't say it out loud. But my dwarves need to finish harvesting those... Um, uh, they need to finish harvesting the dimple cups, and then I can close it off. Technically, you can get into the, the sewer of my fort through those two routes, through... Uh, through these routes here, you can get into this floor, but this floor is only a sewer. However, I guess these grates would probably be destructible. Hmm. But there's a grate above and below anyway. If you if you broke the grate, then you could jump down, I guess. Yeah, I should probably seal this up somehow. I don't know how yet. I'll think about it. Um... So I go here. I made this a dump, right? Garbage dump. I go down here. I, where is the dump here? There it is. No longer a garbage dump. And I go up here. To this corpse and I dump him and yes let's let's think about how we could fix that hole I suppose an easy way to fix the hole would be to simply dig out underneath so that nothing could climb up there or smooth the walls so that nothing can climb up there uh, because things well if something's like really good at jumping or flying if something can fly although if something can fly can they destroy things? Are there flying destroyers? Yes, do it. Do it. Dude, that's a heavy corpse. This dwarf is going to take ages to move this dwarf. Where are you going? Where are all of you people going? What's your job? Gather. Oh, you're going up to gather. Okay, never mind. You're good. You're good. Let's follow this guy. I don't know what the rest of you idiots are doing. Store item and stockpile. I'm sorry. Is there some kind of stockpile up here? Let me zoom out real quick. Sorry. I need to make sure. I'm not. What the hell? There is no stockpile here. What are they smoking? I know it's a 420 special, but guys, come on. Well, I guess I'll just watch him. All right. But I got to watch the giant guy, too.
Well, you found yourself at a dead end. Do you care to explain what the hell you're doing here now? Are they walking the river? Oh, they're walking the river because there's stuff down here now. The remains of things, and apparently a dead dwarf. Asmel Olinthermid has died. Interesting. What the frick? Why are all of you... What? Oh, let me zoom back in here. All of these fights have occurred on the 6th. Wrestler's neck. Wrestler's... What the hell? A Kia? Have you been killed by a Kia? <laughs> Grabs the pump operator by the eagle leather trousers, apparently on revenge on behalf of other birds. Pump operator breaks the grip. Kia snatches at the pump operator. So they're stealing my dwarves too now. Furnace operator grabs the Kia by the tongue with his right upper arm. So he wasn't killed by a Kia. He was fighting a Kia and jumped off of the cliff. Hmm, that's no good, Justin Butler, because I have grates above as well. And that could probably be destroyed. But... You know what? That's the fun of Dwarf Fortress. If I made this fortress invincible, it would never end. And then I wouldn't be able to make a new one. Well, I guess, yeah. They're just going to have to pick up those bodies because people keep jumping off of cliffs. Now, anyway, where were we? Dump the giant. Bone Carver. Uh, of course the Bone Carver came to do it. It's his precious resources that are being gathered, after all. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Oh my god. What has just happened? Look at the number of dwarves. Four. Four is the exact number of dwarves that have, for some reason, jumped off of a cliff. What? What is happening? Guys... What, is, what are you doing? Are you climbing back up? Are you just climbing around? What is it? What is going on? What are your jobs? What, are you just hanging out over the cliff. No job. He's just chilling. No job. No job. Yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. What? Have a good one, Twisted Logic. Good luck with your recordings. One thing to note, though, is that you can only destroy buildings on the same Z level. So if you... oh, okay, good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about the Forgotten Beast being building destroys. I mean, they don't destroy my constructed walls because I always use that to close in my uh, my caverns. So that's good enough for me. Okay, the stone crafter has been possessed. That's cool. I don't care about that, though. What I care about is why my dwarves are all rappelling down this wall like some myth mission impossible shit. Um, what are you doing? They're not dying. They're just climbing. Maybe they can't climb. What? Okay. What is this now? Is this some sort of fucking dwarf bridge they're building like ants? I'm so confused. Anyway, chat. What is happening? What is this? Are you climbing on another dwarf? Like, what is happening? What? 
You're in the first garrison. You're also in the second garrison? Tossed no number? No, you're not in the first garrison or the second garrison. You're a liar. Anyway. Oh, the second garrison is just, I have that in the menu. My bad. I'm misreading my menus. I have a position open in the second, in the first garrison. Dude, I don't know, man. I'm gonna end up with dead dwarves. This dwarf over here has become possessed. Literally, like, fucking the exorcist possessed as he crab walks up and down this, this wall, foaming from the mouth and spewing satanic scripture. Okay, there's, li there's a flying dwarf now. Two flying dwarves, probably climbing on each other in some sort of epic bug. Uh, this needs to be reported, actually. <laughs> this, this certainly needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot this because uh, this ain't right. Uh, let's do flying dwarf. Flyingdwarves.png. Why did I do that? I need to remove that file now. I need to do that again. But with select act. I don't know how to replicate this though. Like if I report this bug, I need to report instructions on how to replicate it. I mean, I guess this video pretty much perfectly describes my experience. So it'll be there. It'll be there. Okay. So let's see what they do now. Oh, we got, we got more dwarf bridge happening here. Okay. We got a three dwarf bridge. That dwarf is now magic carpeting all over the place on his own. Okay, interesting. Interesting. And they all survive. Neat. You're in a tree now. God knows what you're doing in a tree. You have no job right no job you just freaking flew yourself up there magically but you can't get out of a tree I should cut the tree down he'll fly himself down right you're stuck there forever totally incapable of coming back I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Like, they're climbing on each other. It's just, uh, it's like, um, it's like that tumbling cloud, you know, when uh, two cartoon characters from, like, the 60s get in fights. They just do that, and they levitate, and then they float over the chasm as a, as a puff of dwarven tumbling. I really hate freaking up the landscape. But let's uh, let's do it here. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. You know, honestly, I don't even have to do that. Why am I building two things? I just need to channel this. There. All right, so I'm gonna go channel that so this idiot can get back. What is happening? I don't have a way down to the river. That's my problem. Or the river is too full because it's raining right now. When it when it's rainy in a biome, it's freaking impossible to drain 
rivers and stuff. Come on, you can do it. No, don't just haul things. Where's the miner? This guy's going to get tired and die. Or just go insane. Is my frame rate really that bad? And he's back. Unless I just killed him. Because he was climbing on that block. <laughs> I think I just killed him. Obak Dodok Zuglar. Are you the one who went crazy? Here's all the interrupted by Kias. Yep, yep, just killed him. Was he any good at his job? Dodok? Were you one of the good ones? You weren't the best. So that's good. Dodok. No Dodok in here, what the hell? There's so many dwarves. Hmm. Let's do nothing. We'll just go to D's. Let's find this some bitch. Dobar, Doma. Dodok doesn't exist. Oh, he was one of the migrants. Oh, fuck him, whatever. He's fish food. I do have his name right, don't I? Obak. Oh, Obak Dodaksuglar. Oh, no. Well, he might have been a good one then. No, he's a peasant. He was meditating on minerals last time I updated my dwarf therapist. He's a stone crafter, but he's not assigned to stone crafting. And he, uh, let's find out. Only, as of a second ago, only um, slot five in the first garrison was available. Yeah, he wasn't even in the military. This guy is just fish food. Uh, I have been playing, I don't know, I, I might have like between three and 500 hours in this game, maybe. I don't like play it through a service that tracks that, so I don't have any idea really. There's so much crap down here. I need to get a magma thing. Anyway, uh, no one cares about Obak. Um, let's get back to our hemp. Who was found dead? Was it Obak to Dr. Zuglar? Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> Insert Top Gear meme. So anyway. Let's do a wall here. Out of microcline. And I'm gonna build... I don't use this anymore because it, it never actually worked. So I'm just gonna wall it in. And this is gonna be a forgotten sewer. Are these, what kind of walls are these? I don't want needless color variations. These are marble walls. So marble it is. I have marble blocks for this. Okay. Oh, um, suspend this. <laughs> don't build that one yet. Phoebus is a nice texture pack. Uh, I quite like it because it, without being cartoony, it is very clear uh, about what you're seeing. So I like it, especially for videos and stuff, because I don't have any like ambiguity. Like obviously these are walls. Look, there's little yellow mushrooms. They're so clearly mushroom shaped. God, are you seriously gonna fucking not build this because there's forbidden muscle shells in the way? Let's try that again.
Remove the mussel shells. Thank you. Dump them again into the same place they came from. I need to get to magma. Because I need a dump. I need a garbage chute. Are we still, are these still suspended? Stop it. Build the walls. So many cancellations in this fort. I put this up so fast. Are you gonna build the wall? Are you? Yes, you are. Look at that. Good for you. Okay, now let's wait for them to get back up. Build that wall. And got it. Perfect. Okay, so we're closed off now. No more hole in the fort. Fishery. Apparently my fisher dwarves are either not doing a good job or just not doing their job. Oh, I turned off fishing. How's my food industry? Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot to trade with the humans. Oh, no. There is no merchants trading right now, too. Oh, well, I lost that opportunity. It looks like they just started going back. Yep, the merchant's perfect time to remember that. Anyway. Um, all right, milling plants. Look at this, milling plants is working. Is this hemp? Is this hemp? Well, it's only seeds, which means this should be on the ground, right? Hemp plants, yes. It is begun. Hemp plants. Um, let's do one season here. Should I do a season of hide root? Should I? And I can make red things then? I can make red plants? Or should I just use those dimple cups? I'll use the dimple cups. I had the hide root plan, but I'm throwing it out. Because we have dimple cups now. Speaking of which. Let's add those to my milling pile. Dimple cups and subtract them from other piles. Okay, that's it. That's where they are. Perfect. Yep, those zinc barrels are here to stay. Looks like I need to maybe pick up my drink production a little bit oh and i need to process my migrants of course maybe we've got some good clothes makers in there uh migration wave so the latest migration wave brought a bunch of idiots who think they can do wood crafting uh one idiot who thinks he can do masonry uh an animal caretaker who's not too bad at the job not really sure what you do as an animal caretaker, but sure, you can do that. Um, sirens, sorry. Uh, small animal dissector. Uh, soaping, yeah, okay. Lie making, actually pretty good at it, but so are you. But you're not as good, you're fired. You're fired, buddy. Um... Plant gathering, not necessary. Cooking, not necessary. Cheese making, not necessary. Furniture operation, not necessary. Weaving, oh, is that weaving? No, that's clothes making, look at that. But we have way better clothes makers. I should do a second one though. Let's see, currently 13 is our clothes maker. You're a two, you're a seven. I'm gonna make you the clothes maker. 
Sibrek Olam. Let's just make sure real quick that you're not in the military. You're not. Okay, perfect. Um, so we have a second clothes maker now. Irrelevant for this wave. Beekeeping, freaking amateur, and paper making. And who the hell is a bookbinder? Get out of here. Um, paper makers? No, go away. What are these jobs? I do not do these things in this fort. Ship it, and we have another migrant wave of peasants. Excellent. They will be put to good use in the future. Now then. If we've been milling plants, that means we've been um, making dye, have we not? Well, this is barley flour that you're taking. We might have just finished milling barley, actually. And that's okay. That is okay. Well, Justin Butler, the secret is to murder guests until you find out the secrets of life and death. You just, uh, just gotta keep killing guests. One of them's got to have it, right? One of them's got to have the slab. Oh, I haven't finished this migrant wave. Um, animals. We got a couple puppies, kittens. We got a keet. Oh, yeah, the stray keet that got launched. <laughs> um, you're not going in there. The alpaca will go in there. Um, there's a... Baby boar, you're getting slaughtered. Uh, an alpaca, a reindeer calf, a KV pup, cow calf, goat kid, mule foal. So many freaking small animals and a pult. Okay. Pen and pasture. The keet. And the pult. We'll go here. Except I'm going to slaughter them anyway. Let's go to animals. Okay. Never slaughter my magpie. I can't anyway. But I'll never let it free. So, puppy, puppy. Well, first of all, let's geld those puppies. Uh, slaughter the cavy pups, cavy pups, cavy, the gerbils, they're gerbils. Um, we have these kittens here, which need to be gelded. They're already set to geld. Good. Uh, baby alpaca, I'll let you grow up, then I'll kill you, because I'm evil like that. Or maybe I'm nice, giving you more of a life, I guess. A lamb? Yeah, let's slaughter that. Keep the alpaca. Slaughter the reindeer. Slaughter, well, the cow calf, I'll let it grow up. The mule foal, I'll let it grow up. KV pup, slaughter. And I've got bunnies. Why do I have bunnies? Slaughter. I can make rabbit fur. I can make everything out of rabbit fur. Yes, the farm pot plot to the far left. The single 16 tile farm plot on the far left is above ground. The other, fortunately, the river prevents me from making a symmetrical second overground uh, uh, farm plot there. Okay, why do I have horses? Um, I have a lot of dogs. Like a lot of dogs. I'm gonna I'm gonna slaughter my dogs from the top. I'm gonna save save a couple dogs. And then I'm gonna slaughter the rest of them from the top up. The bottom up, I mean the bottom up. 
Um, well, I'm going to let the puppies grow up first. I guess I don't have that many dogs because I already did this to my dogs. No, I do have a lot of dogs. All right. Um, slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. I want to save. What did I save so far? One, one, one dog. Two dogs has been have been saved. Okay, let's have four dogs. Uh, so I'll stop slaughtering those two. Every other dog gets slaughtered. Too many animals. Don't like it. Okay, good. Meat is indeed back on the menu, baby. A lot of stuff is about to become uh, smaller constituent parts. I would, but the dogs, dogs aren't useful enough as assistants for my um, uh, soldiers to be worth having the animal population. They're just not that good. Like, if I had tamed elephants, hell yeah, I'd be giving my soldiers elephants. You bet I would have those freaking elephants running around with my uh, military. But, like, dogs? That's a lot of pathing for the game to do. Why are these not pet passable? This might be screwing up my... By making that not pet passable, I might be screwing my frame rate because my cats may want to get in there. To kill, uh, to kill vermin or something. In my um, uh, bloodline fortress right now with Roland uh, from the round table, we have tamed a giant leopard. Now that will definitely be bred to make companions for sure. A giant leopard. Worth the frame rate loss, 100%. Let's make sure my cook is going to use this stuff. Otherwise, I might have to make a second order. Uh, meals. Meals. Mill plants. Yeah. Prepare lavish meals. Here it is. Oh, I, they're not going to use this meat. I need to... I need to go ahead and just... Make a one-time order. New order for lavish meals, just do it 20 times. Let's use this stuff up. Yeah, dogs, Dwarf Fortress is, um, uh, it's very realistic in some ways. It's not realistic in other ways, but it's very realistic in some ways. And one of the ways that Dwarf Fortress is extremely realistic is in its, uh, the qualities that animals have. Because a dog, like, don't get me wrong, like a vicious dog is threatening. It's, it's not, it's, it's a, you'd be concerned for your health if a dog attacked you. But like a dog, like a domesticated dog, and you have armor on and a sword. You, you're, no one, no amount of training is gonna help that dog win against you in a fight. Because you have armor and a sword. And that dog has to bite you with its, with the same part of its body that contains its brain. It has to attack you. Like it's, it's just not a good, not a good fighting animal. Dogs are good against the things that they're designed to kill, like rodents and stuff. Ugh, more kittens? Thanks for the heads up there. Um, wait, that would be a blue text, right? No, green text. Kumil Ot- Oh, what is happening? Kumil, it, I'm gonna check. It might be another case of uh, 
already pregnant. But regardless, I will have to um, I will have to geld the kittens. No, there's no new kittens because I already have these set to geld. That's weird. Why? Did, the notification is there. Were they, oh, they were all male kittens, maybe. Just three male kittens. Or female kittens. Female kittens, I mean. Um, why aren't those gelded yet? This is no bueno. Animal gelding. Because my one animal gelder is also doing all of the other animal tasks. Let's take you off of that. And let's make you the gelder. Boothcott, you're not in the military, are you? So it looks like we're actually good on the kittens. We got lucky. It was a litter of three females. Boothcott is not in the military. Congratulations, you have a job. You're not a noble, are you? No, okay. I mean, perhaps. The thing about dogs attacking humanoid creatures is that they just aren't they don't have the anatomy to like do what they normally do to hunt and kill other creatures like to bite at the neck of a human you have to turn it has to turn its head 90 degrees and leap into the air if it's a giant dog okay like it's a mastiff or something maybe it doesn't have to so much leap but it still has to turn its head 90 freaking degrees it's not like attacking a cow where you just look up and there's its throat or something like that um, but, but still, I mean, if I had a freaking sword, if, if me and my five buddies had swords and a hundred dogs ran at us and tried to kill us, we might win. We might win. Just, just a few, few long, large sweeps, you know? But that's a great, that's a great, like, uh, debate for who would win, you know? Who would win, a hundred dogs or five Medieval soldiers. All right, do we have dye going yet? What, what's going on here, man? We got. Okay, we do. We have red root dye has been made, which means we can begin planting red root if we want to. Um. We should have made green stuff though. I really wish we would have made green stuff because it's it's 420 special, right? What was that? That was uh blade weed though. Maybe the humans had it. Too bad. So sad. So. Our hemp farms are pumping out the hemp. Let's see what our stocks are looking like now. It is, it is a lot of dogs. I mean, the other thing to consider, too, is that not that many dogs can attack you at once. I really, it really depends on what kind of dog it is. Really. I mean... Whippets. If it was like a hundred whippets, then it would it would really suck. But I think five people could fight off a hundred whippets, you know. But like, like then you get into like pit bulls, and it's like okay, well now we've got a lot of mass being thrown around. And then you get up there with like huskies and German shepherds, and you're like, all right, well, that's uh, you know these are very very capable, nimble dogs very big uh so what, what do i want i want plants i want to know how much hemp i have i've got 49 hemp so that's in production um i have four hide root but we decided we're just going to do the dimple cups speaking of which let's let's do those over here But we need to first harvest a dimple cup. We need... And then I guess I'm going to do this as plump helmets to make up for the fact that I just got rid of all those plump helmets. I should probably f hire another farmer too. Anybody good at it? How many farmers do I have? 20. I've got a legendary farmer. I've got, a, I've got three farmers. Two are quite good at the job. You are a doctor, but you're also a farmer now. Congratulations. Okay, so an extra farmer. I got four now. It's a little bit overkill, but their jobs will be comfortable. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't do auto butcher. Well, I mean, auto butcher is set, but auto butcher doesn't. Um, uh, yeah, auto butcher. Auto butcher doesn't work for like pets and stuff. I don't think there's a way to say like auto butcher male cats or something, or like if you have more than. See, like butcher an animal. So let's say I want to butcher an animal. Condition. Butcherable, unrotten. So no, this is only for a dead animal. Uh, the item type, I can't search. I could do small live animals, although I'm not sure those are butcherable. So it wouldn't even be the same thing as I'm trying to butcher. So I don't think you can use auto butcher for uh, for pets or tamed animals, I should say. I do have auto butcher on though, in the sense that these corpses here, they will get um, they will get butchered automatically. I just I need a butcher who's free. Speaking of which, I need more butchers. That's another thing I need. Because my butchering is not getting done consistently. Let's see what we get here. We get uh, butchers. Who is currently our butcher? We've got... Uh, nobody. Do I? I do. I have at least one butcher. I've got two butchers. But this butcher is also doctor, doctor. Let's make one of my new guys a butcher. I know you guys aren't in the military. So, all of ye who arrived in the summer of the year 11, which of you is most proficient at butchery? That would be Uzo Kvishlikat or Zan Ordimamkin. Neither of you are doing anything else, so it goes to Uzol. Congratulations, Uzol. You're the butcher. Now we have three butchers. So back to the clothing industry. Um, oh, look at this freaking meat explosion, man. I need more pots. Uh, Metal Smith's Forge. There you are. What is all of this stuff? Are they just unused bins? I think they're unused. Yeah, they're just unused bins. And that's okay. Um, melt that, please. Wait, don't melt it, just use it. Well, no, melt it because it's not mine. I'm, that might cause issues, I'm not sure. I smell all this shit. Steel crossbow? Who wastes steel on a crossbow? Bronze bolts? Mm, melt it. Oh, don't don't melt the spear. I use those for real. I also use high boots, but for some reason this isn't mine. So I'm gonna melt it so that no one knows the difference. Okay, looks like I got plenty of charcoal going. So anyway, the reason I came down here, I need to workshop profile, add a ca work, a work order, a job, construct um, zinc pot, and let's just make 15 more zinc pots and see if that covers us. Um, in the meantime, where is my wood? This is my wood stock. I don't have any wood. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Uh, designate, cut down tree. I don't want to cut all of them down. That's ugly, right? So I'm going to cut down those and those. those two there and then one more okay so 
so that will create my zinc pots. Good. Back to what I was doing. My hemp is growing. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful hemp plants. Let's go ahead and allow more bins here. Um, we have no bins available. So why are there bins here? Anyway, I will allow four bins in this stockpile because we're ramping up production and we need to store all of that stuff. I also need to get to magma so I can build a magma chute. Why is this flooded? Oh crap, and it's flooded too much to, f oh no. Well maybe, maybe I can build here still. Is it evaporating at least? Well, that's no bueno. I could carve out the walls there though, and that will, uh, I have to do that anyway. That will cause the water to become lower, which will in turn, oh great, a mandate, will in turn uh, allow me to continue digging down. only on level 31. Ooh, what are we making? Masterpiece and a masterpiece hemp cloth. Interesting. All right, no one's going to do that because they can't reach it. Fantastic. Well, one thing I can do to clear that out, I think, is I can make it a water source and dump the water elsewhere. Let's see. I could make sort of wells in my hospital by channeling out some area and then I could fill it with water and make that a water source. So why don't I do that? It'll be like a super emergency water source. Because there is nothing below this, right? Right. Perfect. And I'm not even sure that this will work to be honest, but I'm just screwing up my floor if it doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, a DF hack plug. Yeah, I don't use DF hack. Uh, no, crossbow dwarves will absolutely train in crossbows. Uh, in fact, I have some training ranges here and if I go to my military real quick and I do this smart like I should have done in the first place and I go to my schedules and uh, I go to my boners here what's the current month so you're gonna train on the third month of each season so I do this uh, Cancel order, cancel order, train, cancel order, cancel order. Nope, I did that wrong, I think. No, that's right. Because then they're training four months out of the year, which is better than this, which I have, whoa. I have you training most of the year and only on break some of the year. You know, maybe that's a better idea. Let's let's do it that way. Um, uh, so copy this order, and then let's paste the first three months of each season like that, and then this one will get cleared. That's the same exact schedule as these guys. Well, I'm an idiot. So let's not do that. Let's cancel every second, or we're off every second month. Okay. 
So there we go. And these guys will be off every, well, it's the third month, I guess. So these guys will be off every second month. Okay, so the boners should be training right now, but I'm not sure if they have, um, I'm not sure if they have ammo. One of the things they have to have, of course, is ammo. My coffers here are empty. That's for personal equipment though. My coffers here appear to be empty. Okay. My stocks tell me that I have no usable bolts. bolts. See, there's the problem. Because they won't use any bolts except for bone bolts. Uh, I can change that. Uh, we can, let's say we, we stop melting the bronze bolts, right? And then I go to my military and I go to my equipment. I go to the boners. Actually, I want to go to uniforms. I want to go to my boners uniform. And I want to... There is a way to set this, is there not? Bone crossbow. Oh, ammunition. Duh. All right, so bone bolts, but also um, was it copper bolts? Is that what I said? Copper bolts. Hey, what's up, Kalosbatsi? Um, I, I did have copper bolts, did I not? Ammunition. No, it was bronze. Crap. Copper was only one. There's only one bolt. So we go to ammunition, go to the boners, go to the material, and we go to bronze. Now they're allowed to use the bronze bolts in training, which is probably not a good idea. You probably want to use the bronze bolts in combat. However, uh, they're the boners. They always use bone bolts. I'm just going to melt these copper bolts or bronze bolts. So let's see if that's what their problem was. The thing with, so the point is, the, the thing with getting the um, uh, Mark's Dwarves to train is that they have a longer list of conditions necessary to train than melee fighters do. Melee fighters need a barracks with training assigned, and that's it. They can train wrestling. You know, they can train whatever they want. It's still melee training. If you want them to train their weapon, you just have them get that weapon. And then hopefully the person doing the demonstrations and stuff will do uh, demonstrations for that weapon, which is there's a higher chance of that if your whole squad uses the same weapon. Then, you know, a spear dwarf in the spear dwarf training barracks is likely going to participate in a demonstration about spear fighting. Uh, whereas with the Mark's dwarves, you have to have an you have to have ammunition set up in their squad description. You have to uh, have that ammunition available. You have to have one of these here archery targets, which itself becomes its own training room that has a direction that needs to be set properly for them to shoot. They obviously need to have crossbows as well. They also need to have quivers. Uh, and then they need to be assigned to a training schedule and made active like any other military squad. At that point, just like our friend Sakzul Mokhez Arvesh. Mokhez. Mokhez Sarvesh. Sakzul Mokhez Sarvesh. They will begin training. As you can see here, he occasionally fires a little bloop. A little uh, arrow there as he shoots at the target. And uh, below there lands a pile of nothing. Apparently, it doesn't actually show up on the map as anything, even though it's. Most definitely bolts. Now I was told that bolts would fall down if there was open space behind the targets, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Because they're meant to fall down into their sleeping quarters, but uh, they're not. Um, I mean, DF hack probably makes your life easier. The thing is, uh, I'm very specific about the things that I want. 
yes, there are some things that I will definitely use DF hack for if I had it. For example, I would certainly be using it to clear out clothing and stuff. But other things like animal control, like I want to pick which I, I want to pick exactly which animals get slaughtered. And the reason is not just because some of them are pets or whatever, which I'm sure DF hack takes into account. Uh, but the reason is also that I want my list to be orderly. So, for example, um, I butcher things from the bottom up, or I save, I save animals from the bottom up, and then I butcher from the top down. And the reason is because that will naturally collapse this list into an orderly fashion. Why do I have a U? What? What? Anyway, um, that will naturally collapse the list into an orderly fashion. Like this dog here b being between the cats. As my dogs down below grow, I would butcher this dog and then the cat list would shrink up. Those kinds of things. Super things that no one else does because they're really stupid. Uh, I do. And DF Hack doesn't do them either because... No one wants the code for that. No, nobody wants to do that. All right, so anyway, that guy, he was, he was doing his archery training. He's got a spear dwarf portrait still, which is weird, but whatever. Um, so our hemp is in production now. We still don't have our dimple cups in production because uh, we don't have, let's see, our dimple cups should be in one of these. Yes, there's two dimple cups there. So I only have two dimple cups. That's part of the problem. I need 10 millable plants. Oh, I need the seeds too. Where are the dimple cup seeds going? Uh, let's make sure they're not being cooked. No, they're not. I have five at the moment. Oh, it's not season. F it is season for them. I have a, I have my dimple cups growing. We're good. We're good. We got this. Let's see. Are these planted entirely with dimple cups? No, wrong button. No, four of them are dimple cups, and then three of these are dimple cups. Okay, we're good. We're good, everybody. Auto butcher, butcher saves from the bottom and butchers from the top. I didn't know that. I would, I mean, if it does that, then I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm still probably not going to install it for two reasons. One, I, I just, there's, it's not compelling. I don't feel like I need anything from it. And uh, also I run on Linux. So I then end up waiting for a dependency upgrade that it might follow behind the Linux upgrade or the Windows upgrade. I don't know. It's like the lazy noob pack. Like I'm on Linux. I just don't mess with it. Yes, it does exist on Linux. But also the Legends viewer on Linux is all janky, so that sucks. But I'm not going to switch operating systems to get a better Legends viewer. What's on the floor here? What is this nonsense? Marble Road? <laughs> um. Yeah, let's, let's delete that there and build a floor instead. That's true, they would be on the top of the list. Um, at least most of the time. I mean, I'm sure you could still find floor, uh, uh, like migrant animals would come in and they might be, maybe, I don't know, would the game consider them older? Do, they, do animals have an age or do they just start at zero when they join your fort? They probably have an age, this is Dwarf Fortress. Wait, no, uh, I have blocks for this. Hmm. And my dimple cup, I need, uh, I need seed stockpiles, baby. Time to make some stockpiles, my favorite part of this game, the seeds. Only plump helmets. And 
that's it. So we're just going to do pump helmet spawn. I don't need it to be that big. Um, but I do need to put another one here. Okay, so this will take from anywhere and give to here and this will take from links only. And then I'm gonna change this to plump helmet spawn feeder. And this is my plump helmet spawn. And this, wait, I just, I think I just removed a building. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Um, this goes away. This becomes a new stockpile for dimple cups. And those will go here. Well, I'm going to have to, okay, do like that. So this will take from links only, and it will take from here, and this will be called dimple cup spawn feeder, and this will be called dimple cup spawn. Uh, spawn, spawn. Dimple cup spawned. Dimple cup spawn. There we go. Oh, and no barrels. No barrels because barrels in seed stockpiles is stupid unless you have a multiple seed stockpile such as this one, which has like four different kinds of seeds in it. Yeah, I like, like don't get me wrong, I like DF hack. It's like, you know, like how I like BMW cars, even though I don't drive one, you know? I think DF hack is an amazing tool, and I don't, like, obviously people should be using it. Um, I've just never felt a compulsion. I don't know. I've, I've never felt like there's something in the game that I need, I need another tool to deal with. For the most part, um, Dwarf Therapist is the only thing I feel like I need. All right, so I got a lot of shit going on in my animal kingdom here. First of all, I got a lot of baby llamas. Um, I don't need that many llamas. In fact, now that we have a hemp industry, you might even say, I don't need any llamas. But let's go ahead and deal with that later, the llamas. Because I might want more llamas. I don't know how many llamas I want. Um, for now, let's just slaughter this cow, because I don't want a cow. This is a pet. Fantastic. Okay. Um, that's a pet. These are all babies. That's a pet. Oh crap, I have a doe rabbit and a buck rabbit. I'm gonna wanna geld that. <laughs> Almost fucked up that time. All right, so I got rams and ewes and a goat. But rams and ewes are sheep. However, they're both fantastic. They're both pets. This has just become a pet playground at this point. Like. Come on. Yep, these are all pets. Well, okay then. What are you doing? Uh, what are you? A goat kid? This adorable animal can't work. Fantastic, okay. This keat is still, uh, having a freaking health emergency. Let's see the keat. Let's see what's 
wrong with it. My Keet, my stray horse is currently starving. Well, slaughtering it would help with that, wouldn't it? Where is my slaughterer when I need him? Um, my Keet requires diagnosis and cannot stand. Well, someone gonna diagnose the Keet or what? I guess I should I should go back. I should go back and look more into this. This is interesting. Okay, the stray Keet cannot stand. It is diagnosis. It needs diagnosis. No evaluated wounds. The status is simply it cannot stand. Okay. Maybe when it grows up, it'll just grow its legs back or something. You know. Oh, and um, last thing, animals. Where's that horse? We're going to solve its hunger problem right now. Horse. Horse, of course. Where are you, horsey? We got an alpaca. We got a couple llamas. A couple llamas. A turkey gobbler. A kittens, kittens for days, man. Kittens for days. You still got a kitten that needs to be gelded. Um, anyway, <gasps> speaking of gelding things, puppy, geld, puppy geld, puppy geld, puppy geld. Okay. Um, horse. Oh, there it was horse right at the top. Boom, butcher. Starvation problem solved. Joe Allen Music. I'm glad you like the title. We are, in fact, growing hemp right now. The problem is uh, plant industries take time to get off the ground. So in the meantime, I'm just kind of doing various different things. We fought a giant. Um, my dwarves utterly disgraced a giant is what happened they disgraced it and they murdered it as if it were a, a a small animal and they were psychopaths and just just stabbed it with spears it was actually a pretty brutal fight brutal in the sense that it didn't stand a chance yeah, uh, this is a late um, special sub. So what happened is I broke 420 subs while working on my last video. And uh, that last video took a long time to make. So I was a week late on the 420 hit when I finished and released that video. And then this last week has been exceptionally busy. So I've been unable to even start a new video. So it's two weeks late or something like that. It might even be three. Um, uh, for this special however uh, it it's happening can't miss the big 420 yeah that giant got embarrassed they uh, they did the they pulled the Achilles heel on it uh, stabbed it and severed its ankle with one of their spears and then they basically just pincushioned it to death in five five or so hits uh, and I think it got one hit in. It punched one of my dwarves. Bruised him. Oh, look. Someone has become... Oh, it's a uh, changing of the, um, the guard here. Oh, and there's thieves. The skulking filth. Send in the boners. Are my cats defending me or are they on the run because they already stole something? Are they stealing my cats? Like what what are these guys doing? Large copper dagger. And small cave spider silk loincloth. No, they're not. They don't have anything. They didn't take shit. They're just leaving because they saw a couple cats. Kobolds, man, what are you gonna do with them? 
Maybe they saw the remains of that giant fight and they were like, nah. Alright, let's make sure there's none in here still. Good. Ooh, a freaking falcon, that's amazing. I wanna catch birds, but I'm not sure how to go about that yet. Anyway, um wrong button. Several times wrong button. I need to replace that uh, first garrison soldier, so let's go ahead and do a quick um, a quick draft for that position here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to military, and we're going to sort by total assigned skill laborers. And all of these guys have zero, and the guys who have only one sometimes have only smoothing, stone detailing, there it is. Let's turn this off for a lot of people. In fact, now that I have a lot of good stone detailers, let's turn it off for everyone that's not 10 and up. I only need good stone detailers. I have so many. Okay, let's ship that. Now, all of these dwarves have no jobs, important jobs. And we'll go to the military tab here, and we'll go to discipline, right to the top. So within the zero assigned skilled laborers, we already have some exceptional discipline for my existing military soldiers. Um, let's, I guess we could use equipment as a uh, giveaway of whether or not they're in the military. Um, so he has a spear, spear, spear. You don't have anything. Are you not in the military? You've got to be. Look at those skills. You're in. The, you are all in the military. Let's start from here and go down. You have a spear. You don't have anything. You may very well not be in the military, making you the best candidate to fill the position. Asen Keskalatur. Asen Keskalatur. Are you in the military? Look at that. You're not. We found him, people. Asen, where are you? All right. Asmel. Asab. Asmel. Adil. Atir. Aban. Amost. Asen. Asen Keskalatur. The mechanic. Congratulations. You're promoted. And. You guys are just hanging out, I guess, because you don't have a job right now. That's cool. Um, and apparently there is a skeleton of Nor... Oh. That's the... Didn't I throw you over a cliff? Oh, crap. That's right. Delete this zone. <laughs> My dwarves are coming all the way up here to dump things. Okay, so let's see if he splattered. I forgot about this guy, this corpse. Mm, garbage dump. Okay. We got a partial skeleton here. We've got withered hemp plants. That's not good. Why aren't we making uh, hemp thread out of those? Why are they withering? Sesh sheds Seshed Thur's partial skeleton. I don't think I can butcher that. Because it's a sentient creature still, and it didn't turn into bones. Oh well. I don't, I don't think I can butcher him. He's just going to be down there in the river. Why, why aren't you being retrieved? Oh, Bach. Do I not have available coffins? Let's build some coffins, why don't we? 
and make sure that these are marked for burial because apparently people aren't picking up the corpses in the river. They're all full. That's the problem. Too many deaths. I'm actually not sure about that rain uh, situation. However, I will say this. I consistently build above ground staging points before digging down into my main base. Uh, it's just the way that I do my starts for my own reasons. And so my, my dwarves get rained on almost constantly for the first year. And I've never had any mental breaks or anything by anyone with a lot of got rained on moods. If we take a look at my dwarves here, let's take a look at um, my original dwarves, my OGs. Uh, we'll go to migration wave. We'll go up to autumn of year five. No, what we want is, oh yeah, autumn of year five. That's right, I started this world on year five. I have four remaining original dwarves. I don't know how I killed three of them. Um, but let's take a look. So currently one of them is the bookkeeper. So we go on over here. Let's go to the bookkeeper. And the bookkeeper, because it's been six years now, and he was certainly rained on in year five. Um, Let's, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can read this shit. Okay. Within the last season, didn't feel anything. Okay, that's the last season. Um, okay, dwelling upon being unable to practice a martial art, remembering communicate, communing with uh, uh, a god, eating a legendary meal, uh, being near to a waterfall, experiencing trauma, and mulling over the recurring memory allowed her to rethink her intellectual values and changed her personal tendencies. Interesting. Uh, creating an artifact, giving somebody food. Oh, here we go. She was annoyed when she, when caught in the rain, but she wasn't remembering being caught in the rain. She was annoyed because she was caught in the rain within the last season. I don't see any remember being caught in the rain in here. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and just check, cross-check it with what I get as a synopsis from... Uh, Dwarf therapist. So, Kib, bookkeeper. Within the last week, all of those things happened. Okay, that's cool. Um, within the last season, all of those things happened. Yeah, so that doesn't include any of the remembering lines. Um, but it also doesn't show the rain in here. Within the last season or week, it doesn't mention being caught in the rain. Oh yeah, here it is. It's the last thing. How did I not see that? Uh, and annoyed when caught in the rain within the last week. So the only thing she remembers about rain is this week she got rained on. So it seems to not be an issue in this fort. Um, same here. Uh, annoyed when caught in the rain within the last week. Uh, within the last season. Uh, nothing about the rain. We'll check out Stukos too. Stukos is the broker, the manager. Stukos is the manager. Um, Stukos, the manager.
Yes. Uh, dwarf therapist does track. Wait, does dwarf therapist track like the personality affecting thoughts? Is there like a? I mean, there's health, but that's not mental health. Um, hmm. If it does, I don't know about it. Anyway, let's check out the manager just to be sure here. View unit. Our manager is also one of the OG dwarves. Uh, so, blissful remembering dining. Um, wonder remembering communing with the deity. Um, content remembering being near a waterfall. Re relieved remembering bringing somebody to rest in bed. Fondness, remembering talking with a friend. Satisfied, remembering teaching masonry. Fondness, remembering a new romance. Remembering sleeping. Remembering producing a masterwork. Making a, perf making a friend or a performance? Making a friend. Uh, uneasy, dwelling upon experiencing trauma and mulling over it has changed him somehow. Um, joy, remembering establishment of a guild hall. Yeah, I'm not, they've forgotten about the rain. They don't remember that. Maybe that's just me being lucky, but I only checked two dwarfs. This is not a confirmed bug test. This is by no means like a, I need to change this. Um, this is by no means a uh, <laughs> confirmation of anything, but my, for it is evidence that it has not or it has been solved it is not any longer an issue I need to change this because these aren't getting done frequently enough and the plants are going to start withering so let's go to my conditions let's make a new order mill plants I'm going to mill only four plants and I'm going to do that every day and I'm gonna do the I need four of each okay and I'm gonna this one's satisfied though they should be milling they should be milling let's just do a quick check and make sure the plants are here if they're not here we've got an issue in fact I think I know where they are I think we do have an issue, and I know what that issue is. I put some of them over here to uh, increase my brewing capabilities here. So what we have now is brewable and millable plants, like cave wheat and longland grass. Is rope reed millable? I don't think it is. Only one way to find out. Rope reed. Brood or produce cloth. Yeah, not millable. Cool. So that means all of my millable stuff should be moved down here now, and I will get this show on the road with these frickin' dimple cups. I need a dyer's workshop. Why didn't I set that up? Build workshop. Is it, let me guess. Don't tell me. Is it D? It is D. Oh, snap, baby. I need an empty barrel. Oh, I need a bucket? I don't have a barrel or a bucket. What the fuck are you on about? I've got barrels and buckets. Where are my stocks at? And barrels. I've got 16 barrels. These don't contain anything. Assume nothing. See? That's a barrel. Take it. So it must be the bucket then. Stocks. Buckets. I've got six buckets. Oh, these might all be in the hospital though. Yeah, okay, so how many buckets do I need? If I have six, let's do this real quick. I have 
six, and I have these, oops, I guess, sure, let's keep 100,000. Um, and I have these set to take 10. So let's just go in here, new order for zinc buckets, and let's make, what was that? I needed five more, four to complete the 10, and one for the dyer's workshop. Let me see, have they done this yet? Have they dug this out? No, they haven't. Oh, that's okay though, I suppose I could channel. Yeah, this will work too. If I come up here and I channel this out, I'm gonna have to replace it with a floor, but that's okay. I know that I do keep track of mood a little bit, uh, salt water, to, uh, in Dwarf Therapist. However, I just don't, um, I don't really investigate moods in it. I guess there is probably some ways to do that that I'm not aware of. All right, so that settles this issue here. Let's remove ramps, but not those stairs and create downstairs and keep this party going here. Oh great, caverns directly below. And water, oh that's gonna be difficult to deal with. Hmm. I guess I could come down. Yeah, you know I'm gonna do it anyway. Did I, what, what is this, a marble statue? What are you here for? Did I put statues here? All right, let's go ahead and uh, remove these statues. Interesting choice, me. Yeah, waterfalls, um, I'm like reading the chat backwards. Uh, waterfalls are very handy. So I have two waterfalls, but one is currently turned off. They're both actually currently turned off. The greats, oh boy, migrants, no, outpost liaison. Um, oh, I'll buy some dimple cups, perfect. So the greats in my central staircase come from a waterfall that I can turn on which I actually just discovered a fix to my plumbing problem. So I can, turn, I can turn off that floodgate here and a waterfall will fall down the central staircase of my entire fort. I also have a waterfall on the front entrance. Um, I always have a waterfall on the front entrance, just so my guests are happy. Uh, these grates here are to keep dwarves from being drowned by any sort of runoff from the waterfall that falls down here. which I have to turn back on soon. But first, what I need to do is punch this hole and put a grate in. So let's channel this, unless that's also a statue. A floor hatch? What? What was I building here? Why is there a floor hatch? Oh, maybe, oh, wait. Oh, I'm stupid. This is this is the fort where I was doing the staircase down. Okay, uh, wrong fort. I was thinking of the wrong fort. So I already have a plan for this bottom layer. I didn't need to drain any of this. I just needed to open the floor hatch. So, but that's okay. I actually don't. I actually want these stairs. Uh, I screwed up when I first made this anyway. Um, so let's do, let's do my downstairs. 
No, not there. Mm, or should I just go over right now? That would defeat this whole staircase, wouldn't it? That I built for myself. Hmm, I don't know what I want to do here. We're going to do it the new way. The new way. We're going to... That staircase that I spent a lot of time making, that was a stupid idea. What we're going to do is we're going to... Not do those things. We're going to replace the statues. Um... Statues. Everybody stop hauling them. Little trick, you can uh, just forbid and unforbid while paused. All of your things. I don't even think you have to leave this menu. I think that's good enough. Let's find out. Um, now if I do this. Oh, I do. I have to unpause for a second. Okay, so stocks will go in here. We'll go up to, or down to, rather, statues. Okay, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Um, we're going to forbid all the statues, okay? Now they just dropped them. And we're going to go to stocks. Statues. We're going to unforbid them all. And then without unpausing, we're going to build our statues. Again. Marble statue. Marble statue. And now they only got 10 blocks away, about. So let's dig. Let's mine. We want to go to a spot where we can break through this cavern. I see a spot right here. This is a nice tunnel. And it doesn't quite line up. But if I put the center of it here, it could line up. Yeah, so it lines up. So let's just mark that. We'll do this. And that's going to be our continued... Yeah, that's our continued um, passage down to the magma chamber. Because we need a place to dump all this stuff where it doesn't, where it goes away. Also, this is a freaking awesome artifact floor hatch. I really, I liked it being here, but it needs to go away because this needs to become a uh, waterfall exit. We're going to kill some frame rates. Ooh, hemp cloth, masterpiece. We got that hemp going. All right, so that's been removed. So now what we want to do... We want to. We actually want to remove all this. So this is gonna suck. This is gonna take a long time. But I'm not gonna watch it while it happens. I'm just gonna forget about it now and then. Come back to it. Forget about it again. Uh, while while this is going, our farmers are farming, or miners are mining rather, and uh, everything's happening. Let's see what our dimple cup situation looks like. We now have a complete five dimple cup spawns planted here. Weird that it planted it, unless the cat's in the way. No, that's definitely planted. That's six. God, I can't read. And that's another complete six of uh, dimple cups. And we've got two bags of dimple cup spawn, which is quite impressive. How many in each? Only two in that one and two in that one. That's okay, though. Process plants has been completed. Let's go down here, look at my, uh, here we go. Oh, hello, uh, yes, hi, hello. 
Um, sure. Uh, I guess I need dimple cups. Hmm. I also need steel. You know, like I, I actually need steel. Do I? I have marble, so really I only need iron. Just send me both. Send me iron and steel. Uh, stone blocks, no. Seeds, yes, send me dimple cup seeds. And then, uh... Why don't you send me some ammo, too? No, don't send me ammo. I'm gonna make it out of bolts. I need to start domesticating or raising an animal that's good for bones. What has a lot of bones? Thank you, Rooker. I'm surprised I ever made it past 150, to be honest. I was like, one day I was like, I should make Dwarf Fortress videos to see what it's like making YouTube videos. And it's something that needs to be made, I think. And then I did it. And I was like, wow, 500 people appreciate that I did this? That's weird. Um, well, what else do I want, man? I don't know what I want. What can I, what do I not want to make? Okay, so I don't make shoes out of uh, hemp or cloth. I make them out of leather. I suppose I could buy a bunch of shoes and save my leather. I feel like I have a lot of leather. So screw it. Um, I never know what to buy. I have plenty of bags now. I don't need bags anymore. That's usually something. I can make backpacks and quivers easily. Lye, charcoal, potash. I don't need any of those. I mean, charcoal would be nice, but I can make it. Buckets. No. Miscellaneous. No, no, that was that stuff. Um, I guess, no, we can make ropes easy, too. Some crutches. Eggs. Bags. Tools. Ooh, if I tell them to send me, um, if I tell them to send me anvils, they'll send me steel anvils, and I can melt them down. Those aren't in here, are they? Nope. Clay, sheet, cups, mugs, and goblets. Anvils, anvils, and oh, the anvils are actually just anvils. Okay, yeah, send me steel anvils. Definitely not just gonna melt them down. And you know what? Why not send me ammo too? Maybe I'll melt those down if you don't send me bone bolts for my boners. Uh, okay, so that's it. Thanks, bro. Look over the documents. Cool. What do you want? You want powder? Oh, how interesting. I was just making a bunch of that, but you can't have any. You want meat? Oh, you want meat. <laughs> oh, you want meat, buddy? Come on. Come on. Don't. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to play games with me here. I know why you came here. You don't have to pretend like you didn't come here specifically for the massive mountain of meat I just made out of ten of my animals. Uh, plus all the slaughtering that happened before I started this stream. Although I'm not sure if that got cooked yet. I might not have as massive of a mountain as I thought. Amulets. <laughs> Whatever. I don't make amulets. Who do you think I am? Uh, ammunition. You can't have it. Anvils and toys. Nope. You're not getting any. You're only getting meat. Only meat, bro. And I think that's next season's demands, but I've never actually looked into that because I'm bad at trading. They are able to get here, right? Yep, yep, you can get here. You're on your way. Uh, yes. Needed... Send in the meat. All of the meat, especially the barrel meat. Oh, there are. Oh, meat barrel. There you go. You can definitely have the meat barrel. Okay. And send in other barrels. But they should already be here. But we're going to find out anyway. No, not the. Ooh, the plant barrels. What kind of plants are in those? We're going to find out. Okay. 
Yes, send in the empty barrels. Except for one, because I need that for my die. My dying. Um, horse milk barrel, okay. Just send them all in. Screw these barrels. Oh, they are already here. Well, at least one is already here. These all have hauling distances. Uh, anything else? Oh, here, select wood. Anything here besides splints and crutches made out of wood? Haha, -ha, pipe sections. I ain't no elf. Get rid of this stuff. More pipe sections. You can't have the logs. Whoops, that's the same pipe section as before. That's the new one. Uh, wood bins. It's a cloth bin. We're going to see what's in it. I don't want to sell the hemp, but I want to get rid of that uh, bin. Uh, pipe sections, pipe sections. I should make zinc wheelbarrows. Why don't I make those? Um, I think that's it. The rest is splints and crutches. Yep. Cool. All right, bring in the useless goods as well as the meat. This is Arby's, bitch. You know what we got. <laughs> um, for modify ideas for modifying caverns in an attempt to get good fallen sieves to revive. I don't ever mess with caverns on world gen. I've messed with a few things and I could probably give you tips on those, but caverns, honestly, I go to the ca I go through the caverns to the magma and I kind of ignore the caverns. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like I use the caverns as a way to kind of feel out what's down there cuz you get to open up a bunch of surface area. So you get to see where the ores are, and I might mine some stuff down there too. But I don't like harvest silk or anything. Or I don't hunt the wildlife down there. Okay, trader is requested. Who the frick is my trader this time? If this happens again, I swear to God, someone is fired. Well, well I guess I'll look here then. My broker is Tirist Zaludnish. Okay. Oh, he's right here. He's just gray because my cursor's on him. Um, and he's meditating on trickery. I'm going to give you like one in game day, dude. And if you don't get your ass to that frickin' depot, thank you. Okay. Okay. Wait. You're just... Are you just actually eating the fucking plump helmet right there? Is that what you're doing? Don't, don't we have meals? Yep. And now he's going back to meditate on trickery. Am I, chat, am I an idiot? Is the broker not the dwarf who goes to the trade depot when you say trader requested at depot? Is that not what fucking happens? The broker can access the depot. The broker is Tirist Zaludnish, broker, and he's praying to Thal. Um, you okay so there is ways to adjust the height of the caverns as well as the distance between the caverns um like for example my um my current bloodline fortress with roland has a uh, um cavern layer that starts the next level down 
from the last. There's zero between them. And I think it's like there's a, a certain randomness to it. And there's also ways, I believe, to adjust the height of the cavern layers, but I've never tinkered with them to uh, see how different manipulations actually pan out when you make them. Oh my god. Oh man, how many brokers do I need? Alright, let's go back to the OG broker. Who was who was he? I guess I had an idiot for a broker. Because I don't see them anymore. Alright, so broker. Who's the best broker in all the land? Urvad, one of my OG dwarves. Urvad Thabgakiz. And you have no other jobs. So Urvad Thabgakiz will become the broker once more. He's been the broker for so long and he's always done his job. And then he stopped and then I changed him and now no one else is doing his job. He's a legendary appraiser. All right. He's, but he's listening to he's listening to a very dramatic story, a super dramatic story that he just can't be pulled away from. In fact, let's take a look at what his his condition is, his mental condition. Um, okay, satisfied, blissful, fondness, fondness, fondness. Bored, uneasy, bored, uh, bored, um, pleasure, interest, interest, pleasure, annoyance, annoyance, interest, pleasure. And she doesn't, she doesn't feel, or she doesn't seem like she feels that bad. She has PTSD though. She was afraid after reliving, experiencing trauma. got into an argument she's fine she's fine look at all this blue man she's fine what the hell has got her caught up listening to his story forever uh-oh that's not good asmel uzolerbaum the miner has been missing for a week interesting Oh shit. Um, there we go. Also, let's build two more. Schist coffers. Oh, I got a couple more trees too. God damn. Alright, well, I guess there's some time for my broker to get her act together. More wood to fire the forges. All right. Come on, broker. Listening to story still. Yeah, she did relive uh, uh, the trauma. I do have... Uh, Gerbils. I don't know why they're not just called gerbils. Maybe they're hamsters. I don't know. A little bastards in some coffins. I didn't expect to have so many pets die as the thing. Like, how many of these are pets now? I haven't actually been looking. So there's a puppy. Do they bury? They don't. They can't bury things that are slaughtered. It's like they get turned into pieces. Plus, I don't slaughter pets, so. So that's not the case. So fishery worker, KV pup. So that's two pets. Three pets. I mean, it keeps them happy to bury their pets. And I don't think I have too many pets. Oh, this is not set for burial. Oh, these are my new ones. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i keep using pets. Eventually, I'm going to build a, um, a, a proper tomb. Like a. Not. Wait. 
Oh shit, I know what happened to my miner. Oh, I know what happened to my miner. Is he still alive? Probably not. There he is. I had him... I had him deconstruct an up and down stair with nothing below it. And he stood on it while he deconstructed it. Well, glad that message appeared for Construct Shist Coffin 2 has been completed. You frickin' idiot. Here lies Asmel Uzolerbaum, a complete moron. Oh, well, he's not coming out of there. He is uh, drowned. He is cave fish food. Anyway, since I'm back up here, let's do this thing. All right, down the stairs. doing a great job with the keys here again well I'm just gonna dump a bunch of water on his corpse and make him a freaking slab that's what's gonna happen yep slab for the homie indeed Sorry, bro. I gave you orders that I should have known you couldn't follow. That's kind of my... Uh, I, it's a failure of management, really. You know, management should account for the general intelligence of their workers. So many stairs to build. Well, I'm not really going to build those here. Let's... Just do the upstairs. Man, I don't know why I bother with these spiral staircases. They're carpal tunnel inducing. Do, 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 stairs everywhere. St I can. So I, I screwed up this time a little bit. I did the, the shaft. Although, honestly... No, I'm trying to make a different... I have a pattern, and my pattern is for when I have a border around the stairs as well, which is why I did the big dig uh, column, despite now overriding most of that, because normally uh, there is more digging to be done. Like, it's, it's from here to here. Uh, but... I didn't do that this time, and I used my same pattern, and I just wasted a bunch of time. I should have just made them all upstairs, and then came in and drawn only the downstairs and then the central dig, and that would have been fine. But uh, I'm stupid, and that's just what I get. Yes, dig. Dig, my dwarven underlings. You will find your friend's body below. Speaking of which, this is actually all water. Interesting. So I'm going to have to mine. So this is going to have that outer shell here. It's 
It's going to mine there, and then I'm going to build a floor. And floor that over. And that will be their entrance into the first level of caverns. I will probably wall it off when I'm not in these caverns instead of just putting a door in there. Yeah, the up and down staircases, they, I, I, the X's are ugly in my opinion, so I don't do it for that reason primarily. But also, if a dwarf falls down one of these stairs, they only fall a single floor. Furthermore, if the water spills down these stairs, the water takes much longer to get to the bottom, and it will spread out onto each level. So, well, this, there's no spreading to be done because there's no room to spread. But in my main shaft up here, keep going here, uh, so each time the water falls onto one of these up staircases, it spreads out and a little bit of the water gets captured on each level. And so if there was a flood because of something like my waterfall somehow failed, which doesn't make sense, but you know, OSHA, OSHA requirements, um, the water would not as easily flood everything. I can't build a wall right there. Maybe I can. No, you need orthogonal. Oh crap, there's is there an ancient beast down here? Oh shit. I fucked up. I forgot there's an ancient beast down here. I just fucking opened up my base to it. But what is it? What what are you, beastie? What's your deal, huh? Well, it's fuck it's fucked up somewhere. What the hell? It's left upper arm and right lower arm are gone. Are there carp down here? A great humanoid composed of magnetite. Oh. It has a fat bulging trunk. And it has a bloated body. Beware its webs. That sounds kind of dangerous. I didn't either think about um, the water, actually, forest. I discovered that. And I was like, oh, that's neat. Upper. Okay, so it's made of rock, and it's injured, but not certainly not disabled. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to wall this in now, especially before they. Well, they won't try to retrieve that body. It's underwater. So let's just go ahead and wall that in now. I can't build a wall here. I can build one there, but that doesn't that doesn't matter. I need a floor there first. But I can't build a wall on the floor, so the floor will need to be disassembled. So I'm going to need to keep a very close eye on this forgotten beast. It doesn't seem to know what's up. Uh, it's not, it's a humanoid. It's not a swimming creature. So the fact that it's in the water makes me wonder what the hell is going on. Did it like dodge down there or something? And did it get all dwarfy? Oh, I forgot to fucking unpause. Oh, there is. I thought it wasn't moving. All right, follow, now unpause. Yeah, it's just wandering around eating cave fish or some shit what is it? and it's gone I open up my fortress and it leaves well apparently it knows what's good for it okay cool dumbass let's build this oh and of course one of my dwarves gets caught okay cool um I, I don't know, should I make these doors? I feel like I should make those doors and just risk it. It's cavern layer one. What's the worst that could happen, right? Is that miasma spreading from underwater? That's funny. 
Oh, and uh, let's build a slab. Alt S, is it? Need slab, okay. And in that case, let's build a rock slab one. And of course, we want to make that out of marble. All right, let's build it up, baby. Yeah, it is made of iron ore. Honestly, I think it fucked up. Uh, uh, you know, that's why it left. That is exactly why it's left, because it, it shows up and then dwarves appear, and it's like, oh shit. That's who lives here? And remembers it's made of frickin' iron. And we're gonna kill it and, and make barrels out of it or some shit, I don't know. Probably steal stuff if we're smart. So let's remove that now and let's build doors. Why not? Let's build doors. We're going to take some risks here, which we shouldn't be doing because this is my tutorial fortress. Oh, here he is. He's back. Okay. That's okay, though. It's not okay, but it's okay. I'm just going to lose some dwarves. That's all. Um, so we're going to come up here. And we're going to station... That forgotten beast is moving pretty quick. So I think we should we should do our defense here. Um, so we can get ahead of it. So the boners, the boners are gonna be moving here. Move, there we go. Uh, this, the first garrison is gonna move right frickin' here on top of it move there and the second garrison is going to move here and then we're going to go over here we're going to go to alerts and we're going to have the uh civilians all shelter and shelter does not include layers below this i really should put doors here uh like floor hatches in fact i might or I might not, because that might not be the end of my fort. Um, and that's it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I should probably keep track of the beast. Oh, wrong window. Oh, I'll go to unit. Okay, let's follow the unit. It's going to get up here so fast, though. Everybody run! There it is. All right, we're in combat. I don't know why they went down the stairs. Who is this? Who is this fucking Leroy Jenkins over here? Heads down the stairs and faces it on a floor that the boners can't attack. Captain, the captain of the guard. Okay, the captain of the guard is like, fuck this thing. Fuck you, guy. We're going to do this. So far... The fight has been going quite well for the captain of the guard. Um, let's see. Let's just see how it ends. Let's see how it plays out. All right. So the captain of the guard fucking utterly wrecked that thing. It didn't stand a goddamn chance. Um, apparently. So he's getting named. Uh, we got a bunch of his magnetite. Does that... Does the Forgotten Beast's own magnetite remain named? If I were to build something out of it, like a statue of that Forgotten Beast, will it be a statue of this Forgotten Beast made out of this Forgotten Beast's corpse? Because that would be pretty fucking cool. Anyway, let's forbid that for now, because I don't, I don't want the dwarves, like, smelting it if I don't, uh, if I don't want to. Uh, and then we're going to check out what happened. Let's see what happened. Oh, more people fought. Okay. So this is a very short combat log. Nothing like our, our giant fight. Um, the elite wrestler, who is, I assume, the captain of the guard. Um, captain of the guard, Unib stabs in the lower body with a steel spear. So is that who's 
No, okay, so the captain of the guard did not strike the first blow. An elite wrestler instead punched the forgotten beast in the leg, fracturing it with a punch. A, a forgotten beast composed of magnetite just got punched to pieces by my dwarf. Uh, the spear dwarf stabs the forgotten beast in the right arm with her spear, chipping it. So punching is apparently the way to go. Uh, the forgotten beast misses the recruit. The wrestler stabs the forgotten beast in the lower body with her steel spear and fractures that as well. The steel spear is lodged firmly in the wound. The recruit scratches the forgotten beast in the head, fracturing it. The force bends the neck. The recruit stabs the forgotten beast in the lower body with the steel spear, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Okay, so I don't know who built this magnetite forgotten beast or what magical force binds its rocky components, but they suck. Uh, because all my dwarves had to do was come up, punch it, poke it, poke it again, scratch it, and then poke it, and its lower body sails off in an arc. Which is quite dangerous, I'll have you know. A forgotten beast composed of a stone, composed of iron ore, sailing through the air. I mean, muscle shells will kill a dwarf to begin with. If they fall on them. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's unforbid, unforbid. I'm going to, we're going to test this. Um, let's see. Well, okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're, and we're going to cancel everyone's orders. <laughs> and we're going to put our civilians back on inactive here. Then, the next thing we're going to do, now that I've unforbidden that, I'm going to come up to our masonry shop here. And I'm going to make a statue. And that statue is going to be comprised... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You can't make it out of magnetite anyway. Because it has to be made at a mill, at a thing. Maybe I can make one of the doors. I don't know, it's probably still its corpse, but we're just, we're testing here. We're, we're doing some investigations. Okay, no, I can't make a door out of that either. Let's just test a wall. No, you can't make a wall out of it. So it is in fact just a corpse. It's not actually considered an ore in the game. Um, hmm. What? What am I gonna, what can I do with this? All right, all right. Wiki, what do you got in Forgotten Beasts for me? Yeah, it can, but wait, can I make it just as magnetite into crafts? Hmm. Rock crafts. Let's make a mug. <laughs> Let's make a mug out of this Forgotten Beast. Uh, details? Ah, oh, see, it won't let me do magnetite. Alright, I'll try, I'll try butchering it. Um, I thought you could only extract from Forgotten Beasts. What, what, what are you up to, bro? Well, you're probably just confused because of the burrow. Okay, um... I hope it doesn't create my asthma. It shouldn't, right? So they should carry it up. It has, there is a designating cor designated corpse stockpile in this fort. And just to be sure, let's make sure that um, those settings, oh no, there's only refuse corpses. So I think I'll need to enable regular corpses too. 
because this does not include Forgotten Beasts. And then if there's an additional option for corpses, no, there's not. So maybe some dwarfen corpses will be carried there. That's how Dwarf Fortress is, though. You always know a lot about specific things. It's hard to know a lot about everything, or even a little bit about everything. Like, there are huge swaths of knowledge that I don't even have. Like, this whole screen, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this is. What is this, missions? How do you make those? I don't know. Civilizations? That's cool. News and rumors? Is that why, is that what the they share with me when i trade i have no idea but i could tell you a whole lot about stockpiles a marble sta oh a marble statue okay Um, is there a setting? What the hell? Why is there a reindeer on my stairs? No, somebody butcher this reindeer. This is unacceptable. Uh, the area on the right, you mean, uh, this area here? This is just um, my uh, pots for brewing. I have, uh, so I have this stockpile and that stockpile's purpose is to give to the still. So the still can only take from this stockpile and this stockpile to make drinks. And uh, since this stockpile doesn't contain any barrels, this stockpile is the only place it can get barrels from. Uh, and because I have it set up that way, I can specifically decide what kind of barrels my drinks are made into, or in this case, zinc pots. Which is why I'm getting rid of my barrels. Oh crap, that's right. Uh, and there's no merchants. Well, the, the, my broker is, um, not fucking around anymore. He's sleeping. And that's nice. He's not going to dehydrate to death listening to a story. All right, what's this? Smelt sphalerite ore. That's cool. Look at all that blue. I like it. Yeah, I didn't really mention it in the farming video because I thought it was more of a stockpile subject thing, not necessarily um, uh, farming. Like, it is food production, but I, I pared that video down so hard. All right, all this shit's just getting completed. All right, so we're melting stuff. We're making a ton of hemp cloth. All right, let's see how much we got. Hemp, baby, hemp. Get stuff. Get back there. Okay. Cloth. Why would I go down? Okay. Cloth. We have... 90 hemp cloth. That's actually not as much as I thought we would. Um, however, it is plenty. Is my spinner also my weaver? It looked like it was for a second. Spinner. Where are you? Come out and play. Um, plant processing would be that, actually. Right. Where is... Oh, here we go. Spinning and weaving. But I believe plant processing is the thing. Spinning there, weaving there. Okay, they are different. And my plant processing only has one dwarf. No, two dwarves. Perfect. 
Let's make sure I have two spinners and weavers as well. I do not at the moment, but that's okay. We got a bunch of migrants down here. None of them have been assigned to anything. But they also suck at these jobs. So let's let's organize this differently. We're going to organize this by uh, total assigned skilled laborers. We're going to go on up here to zero. Then we're going to sort by military discipline. We're going to go back. Now it's sorted such that the bottom of this first section are going to be non-military dwarves with no other laborers. So like you here, clothes making, but I don't want clothes maker. I want a spinner. You're probably in the military. Ushrir, are you? No, you're not. Look at that. Perfect. All right. So I got two more spinners. Now what about weavers? I have, oh, two weavers and two spinners now. Perfect. Did it. So now there won't be any downtime there. What's happening? Migrants? Oh, fucking migrants. How many, what's my population now? 190? Come on, guys, I don't even have bedrooms. Where are you sleeping? How many migrants? One and his donkey? No, two. The donkey just gave up. All right. Three, four, five. I don't know why I'm counting here. Migration wave. All right. Nine new citizens. Animal care. I have far better animal caretakers than you. You're in the military. No, I don't have any. I must have screwed that up at some point. Fine, you're the animal caretaker. Congratulations. Lie making. No one needs to do it right now. Okay. Butchery. You suck at that job. And that's it. Congratulations. Uh, saltwater aquifer, the, what I understand of it, I don't really deep dive into dwarven psychology, but what I understand of it is that discipline pretty much decides whether or not your dwarves are going to give a shit about seeing dead things. A high disciplined dwarf is not going to care too much, and he's also not going to become traumatized. Um, but it could be... A desensitization thing I've heard I've also heard yeah like Aaron Kennedy saying is that um, uh, there's also a desensitization I've heard of but I don't know anything about that um, I mean I guess the question is so are they able to fight through it will they freak out and stop fighting or will they just become traumatized psychologically because I, I I don't know I really don't know about that but I feel like they're different I feel like to fight through seeing dead bodies is the discipline skill. It, it, it makes them basically follow orders even when distressed. But the psychological factor where they, have, they get trauma or not may just be desensitization. Yeah, uh, discipline is just... You are always training discipline when you're training military. Like if I go to my military, that's why I sorted by discipline when I wanted to search for... Um, non-military dwarves earlier so if I go to total assigned unskilled or total assigned skilled laborers that will sort it into groups of how many laborers they have but some of these guys are military and I don't want to give them jobs because they're gonna be training a lot so then I go to discipline and this discipline skill is basically a giveaway of whether or not a dwarf is in the military so like 18, 19, these guys are all in the military, 100%. These guys are probably also in the military. These guys, this might be one of the new recruits or something, I don't know. Um, you can, uh, you could probably get away with just giving one guy discipline. 
if you want uh, a military dwarf, let's see. Um, oh, I never went here before. Let's uh, let me just go to butcher here. Most fleshy forgotten beasts can be butchered. Okay. So I guess I can't I can't butcher that forgotten beast. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Discipline. Discipline. It's a highly relevant uh, skill to military dwarves. Uh, somewhat less important for civilians. It's they're less likely to retreat in battle or cancel a job when witnessing death. This makes very useful for a dwarves. Uh, makes it very useful when many dwarves die in a fight. Without discipline, even a dwarf with legendary weapon skills will panic and run before he's able to do anything to the enemies trying to kill you. It is also helpful for keeping your medic from panicking when you're having a bit too much fun and they lose a patient uh, with others waiting to be tended to. So yeah, that's it. Um, being exposed to things such as dead bodies, being rained on, and canceling jobs due to being horrified also contributes to raising of the discipline skill. So maybe the desensitization is just the way you would describe them increasing their discipline skill. So the migrants have been processed except for their animals. Yeah, if you um, if you play in such a way that your dwarves aren't well protected from uh, horrors until after your first few migrant waves, then you may want to uh, include discipline on all of them. I play in a way where usually I'm completely defensible. I could just bury myself and be unreachable in the second year so I don't bother with it because I'm not you know if something horrible is coming at me and I don't have a military I just lock down uh, all right so animals 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 what did they bring all right we got another horse we got another reindeer we got that's it just brought a horse and reindeer Okay, let's uh, double check that with this screen here. Horse full, a stray lamb. I can slaughter that. A bunny, slaughter that. I really don't need all these puppies. Okay let the others grow up all right so my hemp industry man my hemp industry look at all that hemp it is there is something to be said for like an epic premise for a fort you know it's that's always best to start because it also inspires your later creations so like you know if you're the last hope for your civilization then you get a better concept of what you're trying to do with the fort and you don't kind of get lost in that um that sort of i don't know why i'm playing anymore kind of zone all right so we've got we need bins, man. We need bins. Why aren't they using bins here? Do we not have spare bins? I know we have spare bins. Bins. We have 54 bins. 49 of them are zinc. It just This is just an empty bin. Let me guess. Yep, it's in the metal stockpile. Use the bins, people. Are there like bins holding bins in here? What's what's happening here? Okay, so we got the cloth. 
My clothier should be making things now. Is socks the only order here? Really? Well, is everybody, has everyone, do they have their socks? At least? Dump, 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 dump. Well, apparently they do have their socks, because look at all these freaking socks that they've gotten rid of. Holy crap, it's a fucking sock fest, baby. Okay. Let's dump all those, get that out of here. And... Yeah, well I have a yarn tunic here as well. Okay, but I don't want that anymore. We're doing hemp now, man. And we got hemp going, so let's start, let's start doing it. Uh, so... I also need to redirect my industry so that it goes through my dyeing shop too. I forgot about that. Um, so let's delete this one. They all have leather trousers. That's going to use a lot of leather. Okay, that's fine actually. All right, now I can build my dyeing workshop. Because I have my spare bucket. And I want to dye the thread. I could dump all if I've made, but that's not sock specific. That's all my cloth goods. And then like above is all of my leather goods. I need to dump this stuff too. I could probably dump all of this because I'm pretty sure it's all broken down. But it's too late anyway. And I need to clear this room of stones. Well, what time is it? It's already five o'clock. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to clear this room of stones. Let's just get this dyer's workshop. Oh, I don't have a dyer. <laughs> um, a good thing I just sorted like this. That's perfect. Except I should just do this. Boom. There it is. Okay, dying. Is anybody particularly good at it? No. Except for my animal caretaker, but he's doing his animal stuff. Um, so just the first person who's any bit good at it, you're it, Coddle as a metal, wait, you do something else, I know you do, I read your name earlier, Coddle as Melagus, as Melagus, hmm, whatever, you're dying stuff. I'll make one more die or two, why not? Rith Elbeltazid. And you're not you're not in the military. Ship it. Yeah, baby. I'm actually using Phoebus. I have only seen old versions of Space Fox. I'm not sure how similar they look. I only saw F Space Fox when I first started playing this game four or five years ago. And uh, whatever it looked like then. All right, the gem cutter withdraws from society. That's cool. Go do something. Go do something neat. Um... has claimed a jeweler's workshop. Oh, I do have some bedrooms. That's right, I did make bedrooms. The last time I played, I made bedrooms. I screwed up by making this dyer's workshop here <laughs> because this is where more bedrooms are supposed to go. Oh well.
has begun a mysterious construction. Unpause, please. This is definitely...